Welcome to the B. Lenore Show. Here we will discuss lifestyle, beauty, celebrity gossip, and current events in our own way, my way, B. Style. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. <laughs> Everybody doing on this fine, beautiful Saturday morning. Well, okay, so in my city, it may not be beautiful, but it's not raining. It's not sunny though. But anyway, so how y'all doing t- today? What y'all got going on today, honey? I have some things. I'm gonna go hang out with my cousins. They get together every Saturday. I think I might have mentioned this before. They get together every Saturday and have since the pandemic. They've been telling me to come, come over, come over, come over. And I don't know why I never have. I love them so much and I enjoy them. So today I'm going, today I'm going. So they get together, they play cards, they kick it. So I'm going to go today. They get together around three. I'll get there probably between four and five or when I get done with this. Okay. So I, I want to spend some intimate time with my peoples first. Okay. I choose to spend time with y'all on a Saturday morning. Can you hear me? By the way, I think I got this mic thing situated. Um, uh Uh-oh, what'd you say, Shelly C? Did you mention getting together with family? Yes, yes. Okay, wait, can y'all hear me? You can hear me good? Okay, that's the other thing, y'all. Well, first, put a one in the chat if you can hear me. Oh, y'all can hear me because y'all answered me. Yay! Okay, y'all, I think I may have solved this, this, audio thing can you let me ask you if you can hear me when i do this can you <laughs> that's as high as i could go but you know whenever i would go in the higher someone left the message in my comments one time and said whenever you speak like when when i would go into like the high notes or whatever in my you know when i'm speaking that it was called causing interference and they couldn't hear me. So then I started noticing that that is what was happening. So does that mean I can do me now with my mic, with my Yeti? Yeah. Because the problem with this microphone was the fact that I could not, if I had it plugged in, I could not hear if someone was on my panel or even if I was playing the video, I couldn't hear it. So now I tested it out. That's what took me a little longer. And here we are. Yay! Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Let me say hi to y'all. Okay. I said what I said was here first. Yes. Hi, I said what I said. Hey, Nola Brown. Hey, Miss Buckeye. Okay, look. Wait a minute. Let's talk a minute, Miss Buckeye. Miss Buckeye. Girl, where you live? I ain't trying to dox you, but if you would, wouldn't mind, just tell me a region. Just curious. You Miss Buckeye. I'm a, I'm a Miss Buckeye too. Okay. I just want to know. I'm just curious. Okay. Hi, Miss Buckeye. All right. Hi, Michael. How are you doing? Hi, Shirley Pope. Uh, hi, the Duchess. Shelly C. Country, cross Country Cruiser. I like that. Cross Country Cruiser. Uh-huh. Um, love seeing her this here. Hey, Rodney Devo, how you doing? Hey, April B. Yes, yes, yes. Is that everybody pretty much? I think I got just about everybody. Miss Buckeye, you got to tell me. Hey, love seeing her. I don't know if I say hi. Okay. Hey, ski. is it ski? Sklee? Is it Sklee? 1256? Help me out with that. Hey, y'all. Thank you. Oh, let's see. Uh uh-uh, uh, you went to, uh, oh, okay. You live in New York or you're from New York or whatever, but you went to OSU. Okay. Okay. All right. And you have 99. Does that mean, let me think. 
Okay, I got you. I got you. I ain't trying to dox you, girl. I ain't trying to dox you. Hi, Brenda Hood. Hi, Mary. All right, y'all. So I threw some lipstick on, y'all. I, I know I look kind of whatever. I just, I, it's sad today. Give me a break, okay? Um, so we're going to go over a couple calls, okay? Um, I think she released a couple last night. And so I want to start off with this uh, this visit. It's the Nesto's visit from September 3rd. That's my ex-boyfriend's birthday, by the way. Hey, ex-boyfriend. He ain't watching show. Um, we real cool, though. But 9-3, that's his birthday. Okay, so we're going to watch that first. And then there are a couple of phone calls, I think, too, that we need to take a look at. Let me just make sure I'm, I've got all this correct. Yes, the Nesto's visit and then the call between Lamont and Sonya. Yes, that's what we're going to do. So let me get this queued up. Yeah, she she working all in the wee hours of the night, Coco. All in the wee hours, but I ain't mad. Thank you for the content to, from phone calls from prison. Thank you, Shay. You hooking us up to the up, okay? Now, let me go ahead and get this queued on up, child. My stomach's bothering me a little bit. Um, okay, all right. We're good right there. Bam. Bam. Oh, thank you. I said what I said. You look awesome. There's nothing. Girl, I feel like these eyes look all pale. I don't have no eyeliner on. I put some lipstick on and a little blush. That's it. That's all y'all got. I'm sorry. <laughs> and some earrings. Do you know when you put some earrings on and some lipstick, it kind of like, it's like, if your eyebrows are good, right? And you just put some lipstick on and earrings, like if you got to run out to the store or go to the door for something or whatever, that's all you got to do sometimes just to make it look a little better, you know? Because if I take these earrings off and this lipstick off, y'all going to be like, what the hell's wrong with her? Okay. <laughs> all right. So let me open this up. All right. Let's get into it, y'all. Visit between Nisto and uh, Miss Thang. All right. Miss Buckeye, are y'all starting already? Thank you. Love your lot. Thank you so much, love. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. Let's get into it. You're a little girl, child. <laughs> Hi, misunderstood. I know. I know. It's a mess. He's like, this is wasting my minute. I only get 30. <laughs> hey. You got you got to slide back. You, I can't see them but your forehead. <laughs> I think that's gonna be my, let me just say this. I took a snapshot of her forehead because I did watch like the first five minutes. Um, I think that's gonna be my um thumbnail for this video, but let's go. <clears throat> You got your hot chair on? Did your hot chair go? Okay, how are you? Damn, you don't got dark. Oh, wait a minute, you don't got dark. Not your high chair. Every time he says that, the shade of it all. Like she don't even say nothing. No, I didn't. Get yeah. it. No, I think it's a lipstick that's making me look dark. No, Girl, how your lipstick making you look dark? I think it got a little dark. You got dark? You, yeah, yeah, your forehead black. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Now, first of all, <laughs> her forehead is darker. Uh, uh, and you know, because when you're in the sun, whatever. But for him to say your forehead black, I mean, she she is offended. Ain't she? <laughs> Why she offended? <laughs> no, it's just it's it's. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's these tenant. It's these tents I got on. That's all. So when I'm looking can you at see, you, they, yeah, I can see. Now I mean, they, they right. funny to convert. Can you see? Look, I need to send you another pair. Those look kind of too small. Look small. Yeah. They look a little they do? small. Oh, okay. I mean, they're not they look... all the way behind you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
let's be clear about something. This is another reason why he needs to, or he feels probably that he needs to continue this relationship with Sonia because she'll run out and give him what he needs. If he needs a Bible, she's going to get it. If he needs some glasses, she's going to get it. If them glasses don't work, she's going to get him some more. If she, he needs money on this book, she's going to do it. If he needs money on the phone, he got it. If she need, he needs her to contact someone, she's going to do it. You see what I'm saying? Who else is going to give him all of that? Now, look, I'm practical. Who else is going to give this nigga this kind of time and energy? Do you know anybody in your life that would? You might know somebody in your life. Hell, I might know somebody in my life. I just don't know who that is because this is nothing we would ever openly discuss. Okay. But back to the story. And please hit the like. I mean, the, the point is because you don't walk around with them. Can you read? Yeah, I can read. I can read. It just, uh, it just got. Okay, that's okay. Let me stop it again. I know I'm not gonna do this all the way through, y'all. I'm gonna stop. But she said, "Can you read?" Hell, no, he can't read, and it ain't got nothing to do with them damn glasses. Back to it. Ten on her. That's all. I don't like that's nothing in front of that me. UV. That's that UV. That's, that's to protect UV. your eyes. Yeah, that's to protect your eyes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just don't like nothing in front of me. I, I, yeah, I, I don't, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna cut it off. I cut it down. I'm gonna cut it down. Oh, this shit don't grow. This shit don't grow real quick, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I don't be doing mm -hmm. that. It's freezing in this Nobody. motherfucking boy. Nobody. Nobody. Damn, I, I, you look like you lost some weight. <laughs> Since it's in common, I love that name, by the way. Nobody. <laughs> That's hilarious. I did. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah you coughing a lot. Damn. A little still sick. Not, not all the way. I'm. I feel fine. Really? Okay. So how your body feeling? It's <clears throat> My body feels fine. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You could definitely tell you lost some weight. Yeah, you lost weight. Mm -hmm. No, I ain't lost no weight. You I don't gain weight, to be honest with you. Looking look old and older. Nothing, just shit. I feel like I'm on a plantation, man. Well, you are. Straight the fuck up. True. Mm -hmm. My brain is just is just scattered everywhere. I'm trying to hang on now. I ain't going to lie to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I know where I was going, how I'm going. But I did look at the judge again this morning. That's a TV report thing on Fox News. Mm -hmm. Talking about, uh, you already told me about they trying to get rid of Fannie Mae and all that. But they are definitely letting, her, letting it be known that she she definitely has been fired. Fannie Mae. Fannie yeah, Mae is for um, real estate. But go ahead, what? Okay. It's been five deaths. It's been five murders in one month. It's, it's getting ridiculous. You're and it's over got, at the county? Yeah. It's ridiculous. That's just, they need to get rid of the sheriff. That's no, they need to get rid of. No, I'm just talking about how overcrowded it is because, it's because of, she uh, need to get her, she need to get them people out of there. She need to hurry up and just have a courtroom and just let everybody just go. Sonia, it doesn't work like that. But, and by she, who are we talking about? You better not be talking about Fonny because you don't play that. Um, but. If you are talking about Fonny, Fonny in a recent interview, well, not recent, recent, but like a few months ago, talked about how far behind they were because of COVID and people sitting in jail for much longer than they should be and how she had cleared out thousands of people already. So, ma'am, shut up. And I wish the hell they would open up the floodgates of the jailhouse. I wish they, are you kidding me? Hell no. We don't want... Talking about bring everybody into a courtroom and let them go. Bitch, are you crazy? Anyway, all right, let me stop. No, she ain't doing that. Yeah. She ain't, she ain't doing that. <laughs> but you she's, know what's so stupid on their part? Because they think every 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 mark is some money. They lose more money when a person sued them for $9 million. Another person sues you for $20 million. Another person just sues you for $30 million. When all you got out of that one conviction might have been $300. When you could have just let that person go. So instead of being greedy for that three hundred, four hundred dollars, now you got a five million dollar lawsuit that you got to pay out. Wait a minute, what you mean three hundred dollars for a conviction? 
they want to keep them in there because they want to convict them. Then you got to pay court costs and fines, right? And what is court costs and fines usually? If there's no restitution, three to four hundred dollars for court costs and fines. Hi, India. How are you? Okay, so let me get this straight. Sonia believes that these arrests and these convictions are also that the court system can get three or four hundred dollars off of each individual that they try. That that is the goal. The goal is profit. The goal is not about putting people behind bars who commit crimes. Oh, no, no, no. It's all about the money, see. So they're trying to get that. But that little money ain't shit when you get turned around and sued for millions of dollars. That's what I'm saying. It don't but, make sense oh, on the okay. back end. If you, if but you will you win is the question. Will you win? You can sue anybody for anything, but some folks ain't worth suing because I may not win and I don't have the time or the energy to spend some money to lose a, a case. And, and, and if you think it's going to be an easy win to try and sue the law enforcement agencies and all that, people do win. But to think that's like a hands down uh, win for you because you decided to sue them. No, 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 no. Trust me. Trust me. Would you say, Shelly C, lawsuit number 1000? Exactly. They want to sue everybody for the crimes that he committed. They want to sue the, the attorneys. They want to sue the DA. They want to sue the law enforcement. They, they, they want to sue the bloggers. They are ridiculous. They are dumb dumbs. It's stupid. Trying to hold on to these five, six, seven people, all because you want that little stupid ass conviction on something dumb, you know, <clears throat> on something they did wrong. I do not want to make this. Never mind. Never, let me... And then something <laughs> happened to somebody in jail. Now they, the family gonna turn around because that's the go-to now. Everybody's coming up with the suit, the lawsuit. Let anything happen to anybody in there. You don't even have to die. You can get sued for inhumane treatment. They can sue you for that. You don't have to necessarily die in jail just to get a lawsuit going. It could be inhumane treatment. It could be poor living How conditions. It could be the, the food that they're giving you. It could be all How of that. Mm -hmm. It could be anything. Anything's a lawsuit. You can sue for anything. Remember that. You can sue for anything. It kills me, the real VB. Uh, she says, V, her looking around and not at me irritates me too. <laughs> but I think she can see herself as well as him. She also be rambling and lying so she don't look at, no, no, no. Why would she be afraid to look a liar in his face and lie to him? You know what I'm saying? Like, if we really want to break it down, this is a whole liar. Why is she going to feel a way about lying to his ass? No, no, no. She really cannot see y'all. I'm telling you, I know this from experience. When I wake up in the morning, I cannot see the TV clearly, clearly. I mean, I can make out some things, but it is uncomfortable for me to look at the screen like that and knowing I, I want to see it all, right? I have a feeling her eyesight is worse than mine based upon how she functions. And she doesn't wear contact. See, she can't see more than just reading. That is why she, we have seen her wearing her glasses. She just doesn't like herself in glasses. That's what I think. I think that she just doesn't like to wear the glasses like that knowing she needs them but someone had said in the comments um that they thought because the monitor they thought the monitor was low and she's looking at the monitor you see right you y'all see this station in the back i don't know can y'all see my mouse moving y'all may not be able to see my mouse but you see right behind her um can i make this in? Uh, i don't know if i can make this bigger no. Well, anyway, you see the monitors behind her. The monitor is up high. So she should be looking up into the monitor at him. And the phone is up there, too. Now, his monitor, because he explained it to us, his monitor is a little lower than I think what it is for her. But then again, she's super short. So it could be, you know what I mean? Who knows? But the bottom line is she's looking down and around and at the other people and all of that. When he's right here, look, if you're going to do all that shit, we should just talk on the phone because I'm trying to have a, a, a I'm trying to engage with somebody through the screen. It's bad enough. We got to talk through this damn window and through these damn monitors and shit. 
Why aren't you? So anyway, hi, the purple. What you had said? I love what you're doing with your channel. Thank you, the purple. You're welcome over here anytime. Please come back and stay, honey. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. You can't see the mouse. Um, the real VB. Okay. Thank you again, the purple. Okay. Um, yeah. So y'all see the monitor here. The chair is low. That's why she need her high seat. She need the high chair, as he puts it. And then so she can be up a little higher. But yeah, watch how she be looking, y'all. It annoys the crap out of me. <coughs> hey, Kimberly. I, can I know you're you on me mad too many times. I kept getting headaches, so I'm going to sue you because every time you make me mad, I get a headache. So now I need to sue you. You can sue for that. Will you win? Mm. Uh -huh. But you can it's sue. Just a way, that's a waste of money to me. It is. It is. Waste of, yeah, a waste of money. A waste of money. A waste of time mm -hmm. and money. So, it is. The court system is, is, is really a thank you for the super sticker, LG, Sonia, a.k.a. Eckle and Jekyll. Uh-uh. Thank you for the super sticker. At this point, from what they started to way back hundreds of years ago when they first came up with this shit and how they designed it. Remember, the court system was designed against black people off rip. They did that because they got mad about slavery. And then they sat there and created this court system. And the court system was created by white men, not against white people. It was for against black people. That's that's the, the the less common sense with these black DAs and these black prosecutors don't get, or these white people that actually don't see color don't get. Go all the way back to how everything was designed. So let me understand this. You're telling me that you just know for a fact that every black person that is working in the legal system, in law enforcement, in the justice system in general. They all forget how and why the system uh, was created and works the way that it does. You are making a broad assumption that it's not, um, they're not, they're not aware and that they are um, working for the white man, right? But the truth is there are a lot of black people who make choices to go into law enforcement, to go into the justice system because of how black people are treated unjustly. Are there some niggas out here that forget? Absolutely. Are there some niggas out here that are just for themselves? Absolutely. But that's around, That's that, that goes for every culture. It happens in every culture. There's a whole lot of people who forget who the hell they are and where they came from. But for you to make a broad assumption and suggest that Fani or anybody else that you're dealing with in a black city doesn't know what they're up against is ridiculous. And what you think is stupid or dumb, you're speaking to crimes that you feel are stupid and dumb. We haven't, I haven't heard a stupid or dumb crime yet in your term, Sonia, that he is charged with because it is stupid and dumb to break the law. It is. People do it for a number of different reasons, okay? And some people feel like they have no other choice. Other folks do it because they want to. Who is Nesto? What got Nesto in that line of, of activity? What I hear that he is accused of are things against women. He has raped, oops, I'm going to say it one time. He has great people financially, physically emotionally he has done it all and probably did i say physically he has done it all i don't see anything about that dumb so whenever you bring up these weird scenarios sonia you need to make it apply to this nigga that you are in love with and what it was designed for please hit the like button thank you prison system was designed for black people. Mm. <coughs> Policing was designed for black True. people. Every, every, just, they, just look at what was created after they freed the slaves. Some of these niggas need to be policed. Like, I'm not going to sit here and play games. I had to say this the other day when people were talking about um, um, why are they going after Diddy? I think I said this when, when um, um, myself and um, Dennis did a did a live about a week ago 
And people are saying, well, you know, they look how they, they, they didn't do Harvey Weinstein like that. And Jeffrey Epstein, you know, and all these other people that are participating and who else enabled him to do it? Okay. All of those things are true, but it does not dismiss the fact that this nigga is nasty. This nigga is cruel and disgusting and evil and has done harm to many people. And I don't give a damn what these white folks did and got away with or whatever in this moment, because if a black man does something to violate me, I want that black man in jail, regardless of how many white men got away with it. I don't give a damn. It's about this in this moment. Some people need to be in prison, Sonia. Stop with this bullshit. And yes, we are in prison. Uh, we make up 75% of the, the prison system and there's no way in hell that is fair. There's no way, way, no way in hell that I believe everybody in prison is guilty. We are not talking about that. We're talking about this nigga right here. This one. I'm sorry. That one. Where's it? Where's it? That nigga. We're talking about that one. The one you sit next to. That's the one we talking about. Oh, anyway. All of this shit was created after they freed the slaves. <laughs> Damn, I don't know why you in my head because I just got to watching a whole program about that on the pad. I'm talking about everything you're saying. Yeah, that's literally right. Uh, Baba head. Your eyes red. Why your eyes so red? I'm sick. Yeah. Shut up. No. My eyes aren't red. <laughs> <laughs> my eyes aren't red. Okay. Look at them. Okay. so short. That's okay. That's okay. You feel like you lost weight? Yeah, I feel a little skinny. My jeans are a little out big, but I got on baggy clothes today. I think I'm going to just wear this to the comedy show tonight because I really don't care. Oh, that's right. You are going. So how are you going to sit there and, and be coughing and all that? <laughs> <laughs> you should. You should. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you let that nigga fire come out. So I have bronchitis. I don't have that type of cough. My cough is a lung cough. It's if yeah. I take a deep breath, it's going to force me to cough. It has helped me out here. Help me out. I'm just, I'm, uh, she could be very well right. I just need help. You can cough without the cough coming from your lungs. Let me try it. I can't do it. Can y'all cough without it being a, a lung cough? Help me. No, I can't. I can't. All of them come from my damn lungs. I don't know what kind of cough, she, what other kind of cough she got, but the only kind of cough I got comes from my damn lungs. So I don't know. Hey, Lexi. These people weird. Has nothing to do with um, my sickness it jump starts it. So if my sickness jump starts it, then it, you know what I'm saying? But my cough is a lung yes, cough. It's a bronchitis cough. Uh -huh. Yeah. So do you still, They're does it lungs. wake you up in your sleep still? Heck yeah. So you I'll ain't be been weezing. sleeping in. Listen, I be wheezing. I be sitting there going. I be gagging. I be so why don't you just shit. get you? Why don't you just go get you? Oh, you can't get. You gotta get some medicine for that. You gotta go so to the doctor for that. Me, my sister was telling me, uh, mucilin, 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 mus. I don't care. Mucilin, Yeah, that. That shit don't work. That shit don't work. Kind of tried all that. No, you gotta go to the doctor and get you. Uh, uh, <laughs> I need to get one of those. Um, that don't work. Asthma thing. Those things for yeah, that, that, yeah, no, that, that works. works. That's what I yeah. used to use. I used to that'll use open your acid. lungs up. Yeah, that'll clear me out. I got to go buy one of those. One of those things is called an inhaler. That's what it's called. Okay. An inhaler. And it's mucinex. Okay. Oh, I'm going to go to the pharmacy and get one. So you're going to go do that when in a few minutes when you leave there? Mm. Damn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't really talk. Yeah. No, I can't. I really yeah. don't talk much. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, well, I love you very much. Thank you so much for coming to see me. Thanks for <laughs> hanging in right? there. <laughs> no, 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 no. no I'm going to try to, I, I'm going to talk to you because you can't talk. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk. Yeah, you, yeah, I just, you, I just got a cough when I got a cough. I got a cough. Yes, so Ron. You got to talk. Okay. So I what's been a, uh, so what's been officially on your mind? Let me see you officially on your mind. <laughs> Very cheers. Why don't they know basic words? <laughs> oh no. They talk about some mucinet and the thing for the uh asthma and damn, what is going 
going on? They are both dumbing each other down worse than they were. Good. <coughs> what you been thinking about? I got that part. I got that. I know. I got that part. That thing, Barney, is it burning you? Burning. No, not mine, yours. Um, I know it. I hope neither one of y'all's is burning. Actually, I hope both of y'all's is burning and y'all get together real soon. What the hell? I'm saying you I'm good. you too? No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. You know what oh, I'm saying? Okay. I'm good. Mm -mm -mm. It's, it's, it's remarkable that is good it's remarkable how much energy you have that is good it's just funny to me that the way you talk on the telephone and then when i see you in person it don't match up what why what do Cause i you talk like? like an old you talk like a, like a retiree on the phone i sound like oh yeah Yes, you do. That's what Pop said. He's like, you look one way and then you open your mouth and your age come right out. I'll be like, shut up. It's, yeah, I, mean, man. I, don't, I mean, I ain't mad at it. I don't mind being old in the mouth. Yeah, these that's young what kids you... be saying some dumb shit up their mouth. I don't have a problem being old out the mouth. <laughs> you ain't got no yeah, they do, have, they do say some incredible stupid shit to me, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The dumbest. The dumbest. These girls. These girls are so... I mean, my poor son. I mean... <laughs> Hopefully he'll look That's up and find you, you, well, somebody that's first not all, trash. Well, he got to go. He got to go somewhere where they ain't then, because where mm -hmm. you got him at, they, they, they right there where you got him at. Yeah, he got to find a little circle. Well, yeah, you, know, you got to. You just got to find a Spanish girl. That's that's well, you, Spanish. You, you ain't finna, Spanish. You ain't finna find that over here. She ain't getting enough nutrients. What was was that? What he said? Nutrients. Um. Uh, Nyla, grown woman vibes, would always mock him when he would say that. What did he say? She needs some nutrients, some nutrients or whatever. <laughs> she ain't getting enough nutrients. So. Is some Spanish people here? Yeah, but they, they, ain't, they ain't from the day that they race out over here. They don't do that. They pretty much stay you're right. They pretty much stay. Well, you know, you got yeah. a combo that'll kind of spill out. You know? It ain't that many. It ain't that many. No, you got it. I mean, but no. he do better going um to um Miami and getting them because Miami they're they're more you know they're not so um clicked up like they're clicked up here. Like Katie yes, always talks about the schools. He always she always says, "Well, the Mexicans, you know." And I'd be like, "Damn, so would they be clicked up? You know, like they just like they sit together, eat together. They don't just you know mingle with the rest of the people." And they don't really like, you need to tell her to stop saying that because they don't really like to be called that because they, you know, Mexicans like to call them niggas. So she needs to start calling them that. So what do you call them? Because they're from Mexico. No. What? Spanish. You got to say Spanish. Spanish. The yes. The yeah, they, you call them, yeah, you start calling them uh, that, you, just like you call them a nigga. Yeah. Okay. Where did you get that from? What the fuck is he talking about? He sounds crazy and she's dumber for even accepting that shit. First of all, Spanish is a damn language. All right. The people are Latinx. Okay. They can be Latina, Latino. They can be Mexicans. They can be Colombians. They can be a lot of things. But to call them a Mexican is not calling them a nigga. There's no word in the English language that is like the word nigga. Period. End of discussion. There is no other word. Now, there may be some that come close, but there's no other word in the English language that is worse, more, more, um, piercing or racist than the word nigger okay and then I, I don't even like to entertain that bullshit about well we say nigga but they say nigger or the hard r no it, there's no difference there's no difference now i use the term a lot i do no doubt about it but i'm certainly i'm a black woman using it you're not going to tell me that that the, there's a difference in the word or the term. We have 
adapted it. We've taken it on and we've done something with it and tried to flip it here and there. But I don't use that word in front of white folks. Now, I know I'm on a platform. Ain't no telling who's listening. But I know my core audience is black. I know that. OK, but there is no other word in English language that a white person or a non-black person can use that's worse than nigga. But to call somebody a damn Mexican is not an insult if they're from Mexico. Calling an African who is from Africa or a Chinese person who is from China or a Japanese person who's from Japan. I this nigga didn't just say and see how I use that just now because that's what he is see I'm like D.L. Hughley I will stop saying that word when I stop seeing them niggas okay everybody ain't a nigga I love black folks I love them yes I do but sometimes some of these folks is niggas I'm gonna call him one he's one right here okay and how dare he this is stupid y'all I don't even know why I'm entertaining this let me go back let me let me let, let's listen they're from Mexico, so if they call me an yeah. Ohioan, that's like calling me a nigga. No, I'm me, from Ohio. no, man, Mex <laughs> uh, no, no, a Mexican is like like slave, like the bottom of the topo. I don't you like the bottom about, about the Mexicans, but I guess I know you if, don't. I know if, if, if racist you, people think that way, I guess. But no, but that's they head. think of that too. They think that. Wait a minute, Very Sherry. Let me tell you something. So you you make a good point here. I have noticed that many. First, before I get to you, Very Cherry, before I forget what the hell he just said, he said that these people who are called Mexicans, even though they're from Mexico, they feel offended because it's like worse than a nigga. It's like calling them a nigga. That is the dumbest shit. They're on the lowest. That is dumb as hell. That is the dumbest shit I've ever heard. And she entertained it with her dumb ass. OK, now, Very Cherry, let me say this. Um, she says, uh, I have noticed that many non-Mexican Latinos get offended if someone calls them Mexican. They think they're better than Mexicans speaking very generally here. Now, I am not going to argue with you. That happens. I think one of the reasons that happens too, and, and it becomes offensive. Look, I have my second family is Dominican. Okay. I, I, one of my best girlfriends in the whole wide world is Dominican. And we've been friends since I was 19 years old. And I mean, her family is my family at this point. And she would tell me, you know, how it was offensive to be called anything outside of Dominican. She didn't, they didn't want to be called Puerto Rican. They didn't want to be, and they damn sure didn't want to be called Mexicans. And that is true. But I think some of that comes with, there is this idea for a lot of Americans, um, maybe not as much now as it used to be, but if you were Spanish, of, of Spanish heritage, I should say, if you were of Latin heritage and someone called you Mexican, and it was like, that was the, the go-to. They were always referred to Mexican before they were, even considered to be anything else. And Dominicans were the one of the last things that people would think to call them because they they either think, oh, you're Mexican. Oh, you're not Mexican. Then you must be Puerto Rican. No, there are all up, uh, there's so many other um um subsects, I, I should say. I don't know any other way to put it, but there are other groups within the Latin community. There's so many things you can be. If you speak Spanish and even their Spanish, the way Mexicans say, uh, use their Spanish is a little different than a Puerto Rican or a Dominican. They all have their own way. It's kind of like even the Filipino. They have one main language in the Philippines, but then every area has their own um, uh, language as well. So it's like, uh, child, anyway, let me stop. These people are stupid. That too, he's like you pull them down. Uh, oh, let me just say, very cherry. So I'm not disagreeing with you. It does happen like that. It, you no lie. But I think that, and I'm not gonna say I can't really speak to what type of stigma that Puerto Ricans or Dominicans or Colombians or whomever what they feel when they're called Mexicans. I don't know. Look, black folks, we got our feelings about different people too. You know, we do. It, we every culture does right but at the end of the day what he's saying is dumb as hell 
is dumb as hell because for him to say that to call someone a Mexican, even though they may be from Mexico, is an insult. That in itself is an insult to Mexicans. Let me just say that. Okay, I'm done. Let me get off the soapbox. Uh, that's the same one you came with last week, is it? No, actually. <laughs> <laughs> this is my second time carrying this bag. I gave the silver one to my granddaughter because she kept sweating me for it. Oh. Oh, okay. So you got gold and silver mixing it's up. It's a topo. Oh, huh. gold because it, my shoes are gold. Oh, totem, but it goes oh, with everything. Oh, he was trying to say totem pole. <laughs> Is that what he said? Let's go back just a second. Look up. Okay. Hold on. He said topo. About the Mexicans, but I guess. I know you don't. Know, I know. If, if racist he, people think that way, I guess, but. No, but that's, they head. think of that too. They think that too. He's like you pulling them down. Yes, uh, Topo. That's the same one you came with last week, Jean. Hold on. I no. Know. Wait a minute. I got to hear this to Topo. You got to say Spanish. Spanish. The yes. The yeah, they, you call, yeah, you start calling them uh, that. You, it's like you call them a nigga. Yeah. Like they're from Mexico. So if they call me an yeah. Ohioan, that's like calling me a nigga. No, I'm from Ohio. no. Man, mess uh, no, no. A Mexican is like like slave, like the bottom of the topo. I don't you like think the bottom about, about the Mexicans, but I guess I know you if, don't. I know if, if, if racist you, people think that way, I guess. But no, but that's they head. think of that too. They think that too. It's like you pull them down. No, they uh, don't. That's the same when you came with last week. Did you? No, actually, <laughs> <laughs> this is my. Second time carrying this bag. I gave the silver one to my granddaughter because she kept sweating me for it. Oh, oh, okay. So you got gold and silver mixing up. Huh. Oh, gold because it, my shoes are gold, but it goes with everything. So, you uh -huh. know, mm -hmm. my earrings are gold. <laughs> my bracelet is kind of multi color with gold. I'm skinny. Yeah, I can see it today. <laughs> I really can see it today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see it today. I'll get you these five it. pounds back this week. Somebody is going to need to make sure that they sanitize that whole station when this heifer leaves, okay? Because I, she says she got bronchitis. I don't know what there she got, but she's doing too much damn coughing to be up in there in a residential area where it ain't nothing but a bunch of people living to get. See, they live in such an environment that you know how easy it is to pass COVID, a cold, whatever it is that, that someone can catch. They can catch it up in there. Lord have mercy. Please Why are you like frowning I'm your start, face up? So. I'm going to start drinking um, Insure starting today. I'm going to go back home and drink some Insure. I'm going to drink like two. I ate last night. I haven't been to the bathroom since I've been sick. Oh, my God. Yeah. Go. Okay. That's, that's the upside, right? So I'm not sick sick and sick. I'm just sick, you know. Wait a minute. Not going to the bathroom is an upside? I think you want that shit out, literally. You want the shit out, ma'am. Not in. Oh my God. Cold. I got a cold sick. Okay. Uh huh. So, what did your <laughs> week look like this week? It looked like nothing. What you mean? You got to have something going on. I ain't got nothing going on. I just got to get my um, paperwork from Audi. Um, and that's it. Because I got an appointment with the DMV on Friday. <laughs> that's it. Oh, you, uh, you said you're going to get your Audi. <laughs> No, I talked to a guy last night about it. He said about fifteen hundred dollars a month for the um, the e-tron. <coughs> but I'm like, no, I don't leave the house. It don't make sense. It, no, I, that don't make no sense. That, it don't make, if it, I don't go anywhere. No. You better get a mm. fucking Honda and shut the fuck up. The, you sound stupid. Why are you trying to just literally sit in the in the garage? Like the other two cars did, and get no miles on it. Remember, the Mustang only had three thousand miles on it. You had two cars on you, now you ain't got no car. What sense that make? It only had three thousand miles on it, and you didn't keep that car, ma'am. You're saying you you want us to believe you had two cars, and now you ain't got no car. What sense that make? And now you're saying you don't need a car because you don't go nowhere, but you there every week. And then you go in here this minute and everybody got to rearrange their schedule to, to allow you to either use their car or pick you up and drop you off. You sound like a damn fool, your old ass. Go get you a damn car and sit the fuck down. You better get a Honda. I got one. I ain't mad. The fuck? 
And then the um, gas mileage is everything. My Honda, I'm happy to have a Honda. Don't get it twisted. The Audi had 19,000 miles on it when I turned it in. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's uh -huh. no miles for what you pay for it. I paid 10,000 down to get both. Then I was paying to get $1,600 a month on both cars. Why? Damn. Why? Sure. Just, so just, just, look to, like just for them to sit, you know, or I pull up at the grocery store. Because, you know, I wasn't going nowhere. So who's seeing me? Why'd you, you do know? that, Sonia? You sound stupid. Oh, no, okay. I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, the guy stopped me out in the parking lot. He walked me in talking about my car. Oh, the police. <laughs> <laughs> He was talking, he walked me all the way in just talking about my car. I really like that car. Da, da, da. How much was that? <laughs> I know you didn't call her Penny Walker. I like my car. Oh. I mean, I don't know how you're going to feel getting in and out of it, you know. Hey, man. Hey, mm. hey. I ain't got nothing right now. So, guess what? How, how can a, a beggar be choosy? You no, know, no, no. Can a bougie be choosy? Can the bougie uh, be choosy? I, 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 to be honest with you, I don't even see where that shit come in to play at, what you're talking about. Can the bougie see. be choosy? I hey, I'm telling you, I don't even see where that come in there. Look, I don't see where that come in. Yeah. There. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's you just the talking. Bougie be choosy. Mm hmm. Mm. Bougie be choosy. Well, here's here's the thing. Well, here's here what we got going on. What are you gonna do with yourself until I get out? I want to know that here. That hit that part. Mm -hmm. Vacation. Okay, I'm so on your case, that's all I got to do to like till you get out. Do you think somebody wants to hear that you're going on vacation while I'm in here? I don't want to hear, I don't even know if that's what he's hinting at. I think he wants to know something else, but okay, let me listen. Let me stop. Hi, TF Rental Properties. I like y'all too. <laughs> Love y'all to death. Her insecurity is showing, yes, because why does she need to tell everybody she had two cars and this is what she paid for? I had those conversations with my friends the only time i'm having that kind of conversation with my friends is if i'm going with them to buy the car or we, we just get into a discussion about it but they ain't talking about shit she is out here trying to advertise and you know what i heard somebody give commentary the other day and honestly i don't remember who it was it was either you know it was one two of my favorites okay <laughs> and they were making the point that sonya knows that he He's attracted to a certain kind of woman. I never thought about it like this until they broke it down. That he he's attracted to a certain type of woman and um, a certain woman of affluence, you know, who has means. And she is trying to keep up optics for, for that purpose so that she can be picked. That's what I think. What y'all say? What y'all saying in here real quick? So I do agree, Very Cherry. That's insecurity showing up. What you say? She's constantly trying to impress him. She fails to realize his life was all smoke and mirror. I don't know why she don't get it. In fact, Shirley's life has been exposed as all smoke and mirrors. If you really break it down, Shirley's life was not what we thought it was. If she was with this dude, for one, that's the first problem. That's the first sign that it's not all it's supposed to be. The second sign is when you're evicted five times and you make half a million dollars a year and you got this nigga with you. Um, the other thing, we thought they were married. Now we know they weren't legally married. So all of these things show you that th his life, his life with his wife, all of this shit is smoke and mirrors. So I guess maybe that's why she blowing hers. Maybe she's setting up her mirrors now too, just to fit in. It's real dumb. It's ridiculous. And she said, wait a minute. Can she see over the steering wheel <laughs> to drive? And does her feet reach the pedal? I don't know, child. I don't. Maybe that's why she ain't driving. Maybe. <laughs> she knew what he meant. Mm-hmm, Tiffany. What you say, real VB? Is that the size of his? Mm-mm, not the size of his pain. Didn't someone say she said it was long and skinny like a... She said that? Who is she talking to and about? What? I guess that's why he needs the toys and liquid V. Jesus. Jesus. Hey, Maverick born. Oh, my Lord. Are you kidding me? This was a conversation? I missed that call. Ugh. 
Uh, she made him think she had a lot going on business-wise. Nesto got bamboozled. Yep. I think he's picking up on that now because she ain't got shit going on. She always meeting with an investor. She wants to, first she wants a strip club. Then she wants this or that. Girl, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Yep. They, they were trying to con each other, damn losers. Well, I think she may have got him though. I think she could possibly have him if she got his damn social security number and she over there forging um, uh, P, uh, POAs. Weird, crazy, dumb. How the scammer gets scammed, I'll never know. But here we go. Oh. Okay, well, you got a couple more days for your birthday. Have y'all decided what y'all going to do yet? No, I think I know what, what I'm going to do is so tonight, the comedy show is going to be our early birthday That's gift right, club because too. it's just me and the two kids that are going. And then oh, you're going together, okay? Yeah, me, Tomas, and Sydney are going together. Oh. <laughs> and um, which we've never been out together. Well, hold up, y'all. Hold up. I don't want to say your full name because I don't know, but um, um, Phyllis, thank you, thank you for the cash app. I just want to say that before I forget, I just have to look down. Thank you so much, Phyllis. Well, have we ever been out together? Uh, not since he's been grown. We went out once for Mother's Day, and he was like maybe nine, I think, when we went out. Are you serious? Yeah, wait, a minute, y'all wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me go back. What did she just say? What the hell? Okay, you okay? That's all I got to do to like till you get out. Okay, well, you got a couple more days for your birthday. Have y'all decided what y'all going to do yet? No, I think I know what, what I'm going to do is, so tonight, the comedy show is going to be our early birthday gift, because it's just me and the two kids that are going. And then, oh, you're yeah, going together. Okay. Yeah, me, Tomas, and Sydney are going together, <laughs> and um, which we've never been out together. Well, have we ever been out together? Uh not since he's been grown. We went out once for Mother's Day, and he was like maybe nine, I think, when we went out. Are you serious? Yeah. Wait a minute, y'all went out? What? I thought y'all went out last year. All three of us? We yeah. went to the Mary J um, thing at, at KOD. We went to that together, me, him, and her. Uh, uh, Wait a minute. Hold up. First, I thought it was bad enough that she said all three of us have not gone out together. I'm thinking she meant three of us as adults, right? Which I still find to be extremely, extremely weird, odd, sad. They're your children. You're the mama. And all three of you have never gone out anywhere together. But now you're saying y'all went to some Mary J. Blige thing. Okay, great. That's the only thing you can recall in their adult lives where the three of you have been out. And then your example of the last time you remember y'all being out, your son was nine. I got nothing else to say. I got nothing to say. Okay. Okay. Damn, okay. that was quick. That mm -hmm. was quick. I don't, that was yeah. on Mother's Day, May. Yeah. So let's get back on this. That she, I'm just sitting here thinking, I said, well, damn, this woman, is she really romantic like that? Or she just ain't never had no romantic man? Or I'm just trying to figure that shit out. I remember, have I ever had a romantic man? Yeah, I just want to hear that part. I'm saying, I said, damn, you know, been What? Mm -hmm. Who was ever romantic to me? Oh, wait a minute, oh. wait a minute. Now, Okay, now you know what? This call, we are um 17 minutes into the call. I'm sorry I've stopped a thousand times. If you have a problem with it, please go over to phone calls from prison. You can listen to this straight out, okay? But I hear red flag after red flag after red flag, and I don't know how to unsee it, okay, or unhear it. What is going on in her life? So first she ain't been out with both of her kids. Since the boy was nine, and now she's dated several men. She talks about the doctor she went out, the young boy over here she went out with, this, that, and the other. Now she out with this nigga, if you want to call that this. Now she can't recall any one of them having been romantic. What is the draw? I would 
would have to go in my mental Rolodex and try to figure out who wasn't romantic. Because, see, if you ain't treating me right, we ain't got shit to talk about. No, okay, I know I sound like I'm from the South. Okay, I've been told this. Look, listen, listen, okay? I'm not from the South, but, but my mama was from Alabama. My daddy was from Georgia. I spent every summer in Georgia up until I was in high school. And then I moved to Atlanta in the 90s and I lived there for about six years. And then I moved back home to Ohio. So it's in me. Now, if I'm just talking and um, I'm, in my professional voice, I don't necessarily sound Southern. However, if you get me in my bag, honey, that's what you're going to get. Okay. <laughs> so if I do, I sound country or just Southern, which one is it? Okay. <laughs> is it Licia or Licia or Licia or Licia? Tell me which one it is because I don't want to mispronounce. Hey, K-Journey. Hello. Okay, back at it to these fools. And this lady, maybe this is why this is very telling to me. She ain't never been treated right. She don't even know how she's supposed to be treated. That's why she can she can resort to dating a man in jail. That's why she can resort to looking him up and looking for him and then finding him in jail and then calling and telling him, I want you to be my man. I don't care what you're accused of. I don't know if you're guilty or not, but I want you to be my man. This is how this happens because she's never been treated right or correctly or like a lady or like she's loved or that she's worthy because a person who is worthy or feels that they are worthy are not going to uh, allow any treatment that is less than um, deserving of them. Okay. It's just not going to happen. I would have to literally go back into my my mental Rolodex and try to figure out who wasn't romantic. Trust me, I have forgotten them because they never were my man. How about that? They may have been someone who thought they could talk to me only for me to see that they're, they're trash and that they don't, you know, they don't know how to be romantic. Then he's not my man, which is why I can't think of them. Do you understand what I'm saying? In my Wendy Williams voice. Okay, here we go. Back to this ridiculousness. Are you romantic though? That's the thing. Oh yeah, I'm the shit. Uh, no, I didn't say. I say, are you? I ain't saying you. You put it on your hat when you got when you got ready. I say, are you like that? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean that you had your smoker laugh on. Okay, that's <laughs> when I breathe too deep. It's my lungs. It's kicking. Yeah. My lungs Here, is kicking. <clears throat> Okay. We don't know what romance. COVID. Anyway, um. Did Did you come in yeah. with a mask on? Right. Was you calling her in the mask front on. desk? I want to understand why she doesn't have a mask on too. I want to understand why she over here sanitizing shit down, but coughing all over the fucking place. I want to know why she felt it made sense to come into an environment, a residential environment like that, where there are probably hundreds, if not thousands of people living in there. Hell for all I know. I don't know who, how many people in there, but there's probably a good number of people. And all that shit she brought up in there is just going to spread, 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 spread. What is wrong with this lady? What's wrong with her? That's why don't nobody want to get romantic with her. Damn. I didn't cough till I sat down. Right. Okay. All right. Go ahead. And I got this. I bought my um disinfect stuff. What the fuck is that? Oh, okay. I'll probably let you bring that in. Hey, let me bring my pillow and then let me bring anything I want in. I'm a regular. Okay, regular. All right. So so let's get back to this here. I never, ever, ever want to refer to myself as a regular at the county jail. I do not. I will never do it. It won't be me. It can't happen. Not in this lifetime or the next. It shall never, ever happen for me. You understand? Uh, so you never took a shower with nobody. You never sit in the tub with nobody. You Hold never on. done any. I've, I've done showering with somebody before. That's, I mean, I've done that before. Are you? Yeah. Done that. You talking about sex? That's sex and romance is totally different. Shower room with somebody that's sex. That's fucking in a shower. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so no, because you know I don't do tub because of that whole roach fiasco what? thing. So no, because bugs is bugs. Ew. Um, 
and I and I was um, traumatized as a child um, with the roach. So tubs, because you know, especially when you can't see, and you know, something might come through the. T- uh, there you go with that shit. What, what mm-hmm. the hell are you talking about? I don't know. Um, she, she uh, either a she's saying she had roaches. Did y'all hear? Did this story ever come out before now? Did y'all know about the roach fiasco? I don't know the roach fiasco. I thought the woman grew up in a mansion. That's what. Uh, that's what I had been told. Okay, I had been told that's what they had said was that um, she lived in a mansion. Now, we also live in the north. I live in Ohio. She's from Ohio. You, If you're around a watery area, you know what I'm saying? Like if like a sewer area or even, even a drain like in your basement or something certain times of the year, you might see a water bug. Okay, but a roach and ain't, ain't I'm getting chills right now because I ain't never seen a water bug come up out, out the um oh Jesus out the tub. So I don't know what the hell was going on in her house. Oh my god, I'm I'm sitting here. Oh Lord, I ain't trying to be funny, y'all. I just got a chill all the way up and down my body. Just the thought of a, of a bug coming up out the tub while I'm in it. Now help me understand how did said bug come up through the drain? If the drain is shut while you're in the tub, help me understand this. I'm very confused, but I'm I'm also very traumatized right now because I literally have goosebumps thinking about this shit. Oh my god! All right, and she had a mansion, but and she came from money, so I just want to clear that up. And now you're telling me your ass ain't never took a bath. That's another thing that that got me. You won't take baths, nigga. You better clean that tub out and shut that fucking drain and sit your ass and let some some shit soak. What the hell are you talking about? But like nice dinners, I've I've cooked a nice meal before for a person for a guy. Um, I've done romantic things before, and I've 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 you know been on you know. I think um right wait a minute <laughs> I want to say right good point. Hold on, I'm sorry if I'm yelling, y'all. Wait a minute. You know what? Good ass point right here, the real VB. Exactly. If anything, you would be scared to shower because you got to leave the drain open for that. Samaz's father was like the most romantic person that I ever dated. He was like the best and the worst. He never put his hands on me. He never threatened me, right? But um, after we, after I had the baby, he cheated like her. he was single, and um, that was a problem. Hit the like, y'all. But before I, I before I gave birth, um, he was really good. You know, we used to go on trips, and every gift was jewelry, diamonds was this, everything was diamonds. You know, like, you know. I handle that. Mm-hmm. I wasn't big on jewelry, so I really didn't care. Um, um, yeah, he got me a what nice you, what you, So, 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 what is what is what you big on? Let me hear what you big on. Wait, she said the dice mill was chicken alfredo. See, I'm over here talking shit about her and distracted by the stories. Now, I'm not even listening to her, okay? Wait a minute. Did she say that meal she cooked? I cooked one time. That meal was chicken alfredo. See, I missed that because I'm still stuck on this mother bullshit, she said, okay? That's the first thing. Another thing, this man, it don't sound like this man. She said he was the most um, the most romantic, okay? I, I wonder... If she she uh, pushed him away because she didn't know how to be treated right, I wonder. This girl, this this live right here, or live this visit right here. We twenty minutes in. I feel like I know her so much better. I get it now. I get it. She said, "I'm big on just people. I don't really care about shit." Why would you know, she look at him? Look, shit is nice for the moment, and then after you have it, it's like, oh, okay, you know, huh? Eh. Huh? you know, like I'll buy, like every year, I'll buy like a shit of bags, you know what I'm saying, and then I give away a whole bunch of bags. I don't okay. put them on there and sell them or whatever. I just give them away, you know, because eh, I'm not gonna carry it no more. So I'll just, you know, why she ain't looking? Give them now? away, and then I'll go buy some new ones. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. So what you're trying to tell me, you just you just basic then. You it don't take that much. Very you don't have to have no. now. I'm very basic. I used to you be a in my twenties. Say now though. In my twenties. So she gets down with married men on a regular. That's why this doesn't phase her then. So Toria says her son's father was a married Jamaican, if I recall correctly. I didn't know that either. So that's why and I but it doesn't surprise me because the 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 lack of concern that she seems to have about this relationship with this man in jail tells me a lot, you know? So now that makes sense. How crazy. I used to wear like a whole bunch of designer shit and sacks and all that. I used to do that strong when I was in my twenties. <laughs> Don't do it no more. You know what I'm saying? It was like, because this is, this is why let me say this because I feel like, Clothes don't make me. I'm cute, whether I'm dressed up or dressed down, or if I got a t-shirt on and some shorts, I'm just as cute as if I had a nice dress on. Okay, because I, I ain't never seen you with no dress on. I, I ain't never seen you with no dress on. <laughs> I'm going to put one on for you. I'm going to wear one for you, because I know I, I don't wear dresses. And I, don't, I don't even know if I own I don't even know if I own one. But I said that the other day. I was like, I got to put a dress and some heels on and take a picture. That's it. Um, I I stopped doing dresses and stuff. Um, in my thirties, I used to hold wear on, dresses. Hold on, she needs to put a dress on and, and 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 just take a picture. But she don't take pictures. Didn't we start this off with her saying she don't take pictures? But now she's saying I need to plan to put on some clothes to take a picture and then take it off. She, girl, you don't girl, and you don't know if you own a dress. Is in heels a lot. Some body dresses and stuff. Yeah. Okay. So what happened with that? Well, why you stopped doing I mean, it all that? Old. I mean, I got old. I didn't really, you know, and I didn't for the most part, you know, I moved to Miami and Miami people suck. So I wasn't, you know, trying to go out all out for them. I just wore, I pretty much changed my wardrobe when I moved to Miami and saw what it was. I used to wear tight dresses and all that stuff when I first moved down there. But then when I saw what it was giving and I was like, yeah, I'm good. I'll just wear jean shorts. Can you um okay? I was gonna say no shade, but no, lots of shade here. Can you imagine Sonya in a tight fitted dress? Think about that. I'll let you marinate on that. And either a tank top and some heels, or either a blouse and some heels. And that was just my so thing. So what you're saying, you you don't have to be that fly down at you just be whatever. That's what you're saying. <laughs> Why? Because they couldn't dress. Nobody down the locals couldn't dress. They didn't know what to put on. <laughs> they didn't know shit about clothes. You had a couple, like maybe two or three people, but other than that, everybody else just, you know, two or three looked people. like they'd run into Walmart. So I was yeah, like, because so two and three people out of all Miami don't know how to dress. <laughs> two or three people. That's it. That's it. That's all. Everybody else look whack. She saw what it was given. So she stopped looking cute too. She said, Oh well, no, she's cute no matter what. But she stopped wearing dresses at that point. Mm -hmm. She must have gave them all away because she doesn't even know she owns one now. This damn live is telling me everything I need to know about Sonya. Where was this? Not live, but this this visit. Why didn't I see this first? Because this wraps her up in a bow, if you ask me. It's supposed to be relaxed down there. It's laid back for the for yeah. the most part, but when you're going out, you know, you're supposed to step it up a little. And that was well, it. And then when I was if you ain't got nowhere club, to go out, see, when you gonna step it up? <laughs> I mean, there's always somewhere to go in Miami because you got it's tourists and you got you know the beach and all of that stuff. So there's yeah. always somewhere to go. I just never did because from the time I started spending all my time working in clubs. I never really wanted to go out to clubs because I'm at the club for work every day. Mm. So, mm. you know, whenever an event, unless it was a comedy show or a concert, I wasn't going. And comedy shows, you pretty much can wear what you want to wear. And concerts, I never went on like a, a date concert, you know, where I had to be all romantically sexy or anything for somebody. Because mm. I would go always Wait a go. Minute. You just said you weren't romantic. You, you had to rethink whether or not you even know what romance looks like and if somebody had ever shown any any signs of romance towards you 
So now you're saying this is what you do when you're being romantic. Girl, stop it. Get the story together first and then come out here and lie about it. Okay? Because you, what you're doing is not, it's not working. Go out with my sisters. Mm. That's how I've been out on a date date, the concert. Luther Vandross. I'm dead. Where was this? Where was this call months ago? Where was this call? This is the call I needed. This call explains it all. That right there. That's it. That's all. I'm done. Somebody, when did Luther die? Let me look this up. When did Luther Vandross die? That's what I need to know. Let me let me see this because I I don't even. I, nope. I don't. Mm -mm, I don't. Mm -mm. 2005. Okay. He I want to say when was his last concert? Two thousand and three. So you mean to tell me that at a bare minimum you haven't been out on a date in twenty motherfucking years? Are you? This is what we needed to know, y'all. This is what we needed to know. Okay. Yeah, you see her expression right there. No, no, no. This woman just says she ain't been on a date since she went to the Luther Vandross concert. Now we are giving her the benefit of the doubt that she even went to that concert at his last year of performing in 2003. That is if we believe that, okay? If we believe that that she that's 20 years ago. It could have been before that though, y'all. Think about it. That's why she's with this nigga. That makes sense. Now I understand. You hear me? Because everybody else was just an F partner. See, you guys, I don't know if it's a lie lie because think about this. She's she's not talking about the last time she, she screwed a guy. She's not talking about the last time she hooked up with a dude. He has never been romantic towards her, right? So I think that's what she's thinking. When's the last time she went on a date? where a guy formally asked her out to dinner, to treat her well, to show her a good time, and, and literally just respected her on those terms and tried to pursue her. That's what it sounds like to me. And I believe that. I'm going to go with it. Y'all say she lying, but what would, the, what would be the point of saying that her last time she went on a date was 20 years ago? The fact that Luther Vandross came out her mouth, I'm done, I'm dead. I'm it's I'm dead. That's very sad. Where was this call months ago? I needed this one. I went to the Luther Vandross. Wait a minute, hold on. You talking about eighty years ago? Right. <laughs> I don't know. I was dating this guy to play for the Browns. We went to um. He took me to the Luther Vandross concert. And why did I fall asleep in the concert? I nodded right the hell out. I was wow. like. Were you logged in? <laughs> now, now, now oh, that's crazy. That's my boy. Look, we still talk. That's my wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Minute. Wait. You hear me? Minute. Wait. Wait a minute. You went out with a guy that played for the Browns. He took you to a Luther Vandross concert. Fuck the dude from the Browns. I'm very concerned that you had the audacity to fall asleep with the king of vocals was on the stage. Are you kidding me? She must have been hot. I'm not trying to be funny. You do not. Who nods off in concerts? I don't give a damn if it was a, if you don't like the artist. I, I can't fall asleep with that bitch. I can't relax and just go to sleep. Are you kidding me? She has to be high. What the hell is the reason? Anyway. Mm -mm. My boy. Ah, yeah. <clears throat> Asshole. <laughs> Yeah. Why are you calling him an asshole? I love him. He just an asshole. Cause you know what? How he broke the um news that he was getting engaged to his girlfriend that I had no no idea about. Okay, Man. so you met oh wait a minute, hold up. Y'all were dating at the time? We was dating. 
And we um, okay. ain't date. We ain't dating. If I if I take you to a, a concert, if I took a dude to a concert and he falls asleep, we ain't dating no more. Okay, we are not dating. What you mean the way he broke the news that he was engaged? Shit, you you weren't important to him. You were not his woman, obviously. I want to hear how he broke it. Is she going to tell us? And no, he had a girlfriend. He never mentioned her. And then he going to tell me about her after he proposed to her. Then he want to come and tell me I got engaged today. And I'm looking at him like, how are you getting engaged? You got a girlfriend? You no, know, because you're a dumb hoe. For you to, I'm sorry. And 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 I'm going to say the word hoe because allegedly if she is the, what she's describing to me is whole activity it's almost like how she got with this dude she claims she slept with the dude before he even told her that he was married she doesn't ask questions and a nigga is not going to volunteer information he is not you need to ask the questions and once you found out some shit like that happened that a dude had a girlfriend and you didn't know about him and he was kicking it with you and then he comes to tell you that he got engaged and you were like what it's your fault because you didn't ask the right questions. Same thing with this dude who is in jail right now. This is weird. This is so weird. I'm done. It's some hell. So you know what? You're going to give me hell because so no, you've been through hell. <laughs> First of all, no, I don't, carry, I don't carry baggage because me and, him oh, okay. are, me and him are still cool to this day. I was mad at him um, for maybe like two weeks or whatever. And then I had got locked up like okay. right after that. And he used to just write me all the time. You know, we never stopped being friends. We just, I just cut him off on the um, anything more than friends. Maybe you weren't ever any more than friends. Even if he screwed you every night, he did not see you as his woman. He had a woman. That's who was his woman. And she probably wasn't giving it to him like you were because she was a lady. Who knows? She was probably saving herself and he used you to get his rocks off. And then he chose his wife. You see how that works? You see how that works? But a hoe wouldn't know. Couldn't be about to do that no more. Uh, okay, so is he still married to the same home? Still married. Five kids in. Yep. They live in um, upper, upper Texas Toy. You so much, Texas toy. She gifted one membership. Oh, let me let me see who it is. You know, I can never see it through StreamYard. That sucks. Let's see who got it. Who got it? Who got it? Who got it? Who got it? Let's see. Um, here for it, got it. Congratulations, here for it. Welcome to Club V. Yes, Club V. And don't forget, Monday, we'll have Members Monday. See you then. Okay, back to this bullshit. Upper um, Florida. <coughs> yep, five kids in. Youngest is a boy. You got four cool. girls and a boy. Um, and I saw him okay. a couple of times when I was still in Miami because he's from Miami, but he lives in um one of them little cities up you know, in the middle of Florida, him and Jacksonville, the wife. probably Jacksonville. No, it's not. It's a small city, but yeah, him and her are there. Good for them. Oh, okay. Oh, I, okay. I, I get along with everybody that I used to date because I'm not uh, a vicious ex. I'm not a vindictive ex. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I don't mess up people's things. I don't go around talking about them. Why did that man try to come and um hurt you, <gasps> y'all? Hi, Jackie. I'm not, I won't say your whole name. Thank you for the cash app. I just saw it. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Jackie, thank you. Um, what did she just say? I don't know. Let, let me play. You know, I don't oh. call the police. So she said she don't mess up things. Thank you, Jackie. Um, she said she'll mess up things, but that man came for her ass. And try to harm her and her or her family, anybody who was in that house. He was mad. I'm just saying, he was mad. He was not happy. He was not okay with the breakup or whatever you're saying. I don't even know if I believe that story that he broke, you broke up with him and he couldn't take it. So he came to 
to take you out. I don't even think that's the truth. I think that's the story you're going with because he's unable to defend himself because I heard a different story. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I heard a different story. My, the story that was told to me by someone who knows you said that you had scammed him and that, and I don't know how you scammed him, but they, they, supposedly you would set people up who were um, in the in the in the in the who were living a a criminal lifestyle? I'll just say that that you would set people up to get robbed or what have you, and you would set this dude up, and that dude came for you. Now I'm not saying that's right at all. Let's don't get it. But that's where I was told as to why he came after you, not because he was heartbroken because of that now i don't know if that's true this is all allegedly i'm telling you what was told to me i'm not saying it's facts i'm just saying that's what was told to me okay thank you lg i'm just last day with nesto's rv <laughs> that's a date jesus yeah if that's a date i guess my god today um the smutty slur is a setup just what they say I don't know her from a can of back, uh, campaign, okay? I don't know this lady. I'm just telling you what the people have said in my inbox now. I don't know if it's true or not. Don't know. Yes, it is dangerous. No, you're on work. Uh, very cherry. Ooh, now that sounds more believable based on that. It, 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 I don't know her. I don't know what's true. I just know what the people have said. That's what they have said, okay? That's all I know. Allegedly. Allegedly. Okay. Allegedly, she's just as dangerous and scary as he is possibly. It's a line of <laughs> <I'm> trash day <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? All I do is because well, you're cute and you oh, can get whatever you want. My mentality is I'm going to just do better. That's all I think. I'm going to just do better than you. Okay, okay, I like that. What the fuck are you looking at? Please hit the like I'm button. Just because I cussed his ass out this morning. I'm coming out and say, I told him no fucking player to meet y'all unless a motherfucker. That's why. What? That's why. That's why. Yeah. Playing with you. you nah, yeah, playing. Out. Yeah, man, playing with me. Like yeah, everybody, <laughs> yeah, everybody know I'm, I don't play with nobody here. Right, I don't play with nobody, nobody here. Don't. Yeah, I don't play. I don't give a damn. If you grandpa, I don't give a fuck. You ain't finna play with me. Yeah, no, they, 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 the police are already fucking with me. So <laughs> the police already go back, man, because I want to hear this again. So he he he's being yeah, he's everybody, no, his, I, don't, I don't play with nobody here. Hold on, he on his um I'm a motherfucking gangster shit, right? <laughs> he's trying to prove that he is. So I wondered about that. I wonder how he handled himself in, in jail or whatever. But let's see. Let me hear what he's saying. How did this happen? X, I'm not a vindictive X. Um, you know, I don't mess up people's things. I don't go around talking about them. You know, I don't call the police and lie. <laughs> I don't trash Even he shit. Laughing. Even he laughing. You know what I'm saying? All I do is... Because you're cute and you oh, can get whatever you want. My mentality is, I'm going to just do better. That's all I think. I'm going to just do better than you. Okay, okay. I like that. What the fuck are you looking at? I'm going to just I do like better. Because I cussed his ass out this morning. I'm coming out and say, oh. I told him, no, fuck. A player of me. Oh, I didn't see that. Hold on, let me go back. You know, I don't mess up people's things. I don't go around talking about them. You know, I don't call the police and lie. <laughs> I, don't, I don't trash their <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? Why is it funny? All I do is because well, you're cute and you well, can get whatever my you want. Reality is, I'm a, I'm gonna just do better. That's all I think. I'm gonna just do better than you. Okay. Oh, that dude right there. Okay, I like that. What the fuck are you looking at? I'm just because I, I cussed his ass out this morning. I'm coming out and say, I told him no fucking player meet y'all unless a motherfucker. That's why. Wait, he That's said, why. Don't that play with me. What? What is that he's saying? Don't play with me. Did he say child M MF? -er? Is that what he said? Like, what did he say? Don't play with me. What y'all? Oh, oh, captions. Damn it. Let me. Okay, hold on. I just got to hear what he said to the man, supposedly. And um, 
one of them little cities up, you know, in the middle of Florida. Him Jacksonville, and the wife. probably Jacksonville. No, it's not. It's a small city, but yeah, him and her are there. Oh, okay. 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 I get along with everybody that I used to date because I'm not uh, a vicious ex. I'm not a vindictive ex. Um, you know, I don't mess up people's things. I don't go around talking about them. You know, I don't call the police and lie. <laughs> I, I don't trash <laughs> their shit. You know what I'm saying? All I do is... Because well, you're cute and no, you can get whatever my you want. The mentality is I'm going to just do better. That's all I think. I'm going to just do better than you. Okay, okay. I like that. What the fuck are you looking at? I'm just gonna Because I cussed his ass out this morning. I'm coming out there. I told him, no fucking player me, child. I'm less a motherfucker. That's why. Well, ain't that some shit? Ain't that some shit? Well, I'll be damned. But he got stuff on his computer, right? And he messed with young, young girls, too, that are accusing him of things, right? And we still don't understand what happened with him and Sheridan. Like we, we understand that her name may have been on some documentation or whatever. That's one thing, but I think it goes deeper than that. He seems like a grimy MFR. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why, that's why. Yeah. Playing with you. Yeah, yeah, play, yeah, man, playing with me. I'll let yeah, you everybody, your food. yeah, everybody know I'm, I don't play with nobody here. Right. Yeah, I don't play. Yes. I don't give a damn if you grandpapa. I don't give a fuck. You ain't finna play with me. Yeah, no, they, 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 the police are already fucking with me. So the police are they, No, I'm talking about because I'm locked up. Oh, 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 you're talking about that police. I thought you meant the COs. Yeah, no, yeah. I well, know, when I'm, I did I see it, now I've never heard this much on as on news that they're taking the uh the inmates uh, uh side. We are not guilty and to prove it. We see it innocent until proven guilty. Exactly. So, exactly. Yeah. So don't, don't treat us like we like we some shit. Don't but that's how like I feel every time like I go in that even, goddamn courtroom. Even still, if you're even if that part right there, the real VB. So what makes you so much better? You know, you know they call you nasty Nesto. And let's be clear, where is all that bullshit about innocent before proven guilty? If that man is in jail, he in there nine times out of ten, he's not doing his time in jail. He's in there because he's been accused of something, right? Now, I know that there are instances where they will send you to the county for things, but if that's what he's accused of, I don't think he'd be there. Sounds like he's innocent too, huh? If you innocent, he innocent. So can we call you a, a graper, a grapist? Huh? Can we do that? Can we call you a scammer, a thief, a grapist? A CP owner and lover, like what? Can we do all of that? See, this doesn't make any good sense to me. But okay, if you're considered guilty, you still have to be treated in, with the humane. So they have to treat you like human beings mm -hmm. across the board, mm -hmm. whether you're guilty right. or not. Just because you're guilty, I mean, they have to treat you a certain <laughs> way. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to treat you like right. human across the board. Mm -hmm. No, that is for real. It's supposed to be. That's how mm -hmm. it's supposed to be. But, uh, well, that's how it legally is until somebody step up and sue their ass <clears throat> and yeah. then remind them that, you know, you want to uh, mm -hmm. pay for it, you can, you know, mm. and it'll cut into your funds. What time What time y'all go to y'all uh, concert tonight? Did they you ever talk at, to your buddy? <laughs> start at 8. <laughs> it started at 8. So I'm going to go run home real quick, maybe, and then I'm going to go head over to Sydney's house. Um, I don't think they really want me over there breathing. Um, so, <laughs> so what, let me get this straight. Your daughter don't want you to come over there breathing. Cause you coughing like a whole maniac. Okay. You coughing like you got virus on top of virus. Okay. And, and you, your, your daughter's concerned. She don't want you breathing over there coughing and shit, but you're going to sit up in a residential area that you know is, it lacks, uh, uh, cleanliness and you're going to bring your nasty cough there. And now you talking about taking the nasty cough all the way to the fucking, um, probably uptown, wherever you going, wherever you going for this show where there'll be more people. So let's not go to your daughter's house. 
Let's go all to these other places where you can spread whatever your daughter think you got to all these other people and let them take it back home to wherever the fuck they live and where they work. Let's just do that because that's responsible. And now who's not treating people as if they're humane? Huh? Because this is not humane if you ask me. I'm gonna go home for like an hour and then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna probably head over there, um, probably around, um, what is it, 3 30, 4 o'clock. Oof. I'm gonna go over there around 5 30. I'm gonna go over there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I love okay. You. What, what are you too? So, how you gonna have your hair tonight? That's it right there. <laughs> you think I care about I'm, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna wear this shit. I mean, this, what I have on is, is cute, but I'm not about to, um, Go above and beyond. What's the name of the place you're going to? I, I um, it's a comedy something in Hateville. No. I just hate being overdressed. Hate if you. everybody, yeah, that's true. I don't like being the fanciest person in the room. So I would rather wear jeans and some be. heels. Baby, stop it! You will never be the fanciest person in the room, especially, especially in Atlanta. You ain't got it to give. I'm not trying to hate. I'm just saying what I'm saying. You are in Atlanta. Do you understand that, ma'am? Mm -mm. <coughs> mm -mm. And not, you know, keep out and go in there extra fancy. When I, I feel awkward, when I feel dressy, and everybody else is late, you know, it's a comedy show. People are gonna be wearing sneakers, and you know, sweats yeah, or whatever. True. They're gonna be coming in there looking like whatever. So I got on heels, and that's it. That's all they're getting out of me today. That's it. Okay. All right. Well, I love you. You look sexy. You look sexy every time I see you. I do too. <laughs> yeah, and I like you though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I, I can like see you. All of that. I can see the possibilities. Uh -uh. Yeah. That's what you're <laughs> okay. Well, I, I thank you very much. And Call go me get out. Oh my goodness, I get, right, get your inhaler. Go. Oh wait. Get your inhaler. Mm -hmm. Thank you so, for watching. She about to choke right then. Look, let me go back a sec. She's about to choke her ass off. I'm not, and that's not funny, but look, watch it, y'all. <coughs> okay. Well, I, I thank you very much. And call go me get an you hour. Some, Just call me an get hour. I right, get your inhaler. Go get your inhaler. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you don't go home and get some damn mucinex like you were told, you were instructed to do, and get that inhaler and inhale a damn thing. Thank you so much for the super chat okay let me go down here uh 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 so i can really see it he is exempt from everything and everyone knows that uh i think not <laughs> you are there for a reason absolutely damn it thank you shelly c let's see who did you give thank you for the membership let's see who got it who got it Janice Linton, congratulations. And look, some of these people, this is what I know about gifting. I woke up the other day and I had a gift from a, a content creator um, over in the beef sector. I wasn't in the chat. I was, I want to say I was in somebody else's chat, child. You can get gifted without even being present. So whoever has been gifted, congratulations. Please thank the gifter in the chat if you are here. Thank you so much, Shelly C. And thank you so much, TX Toy, for the memberships. Yes, yes. Okay, y'all. All right, y'all ready? We're going to move on to the next one. Is y'all ready? Let me know, is y'all ready? Look, in the meantime, I got to run my little commercial. So give me a, a, a quick second so I can switch up and we'll be right back. All right, all right. Y'all ready for the next half? Y'all ready? Let's check these likes. Let's make sure the likes ain't disrespectful. Oh, y'all be so disrespectful with the likes. 
Okay, can I get a few more likes? We got uh, 365 in the chat and 189 likes. Could you please hit the like button for me? I really, 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 really appreciate it if you would, okay? All right, so we are ready. Is we ready or is we not ready, okay? I need to know. Um, this one, this particular live is named the, the, the I can't even talk today. The dynamic duo, honey. Oh, hey, Tony. Is that how you say it? Tony Smith, thank you so much. That was hair down her throat. Oh, that was hair down her throat from the night before. Oh, shots motherfucking fired. Oh, my God. Thank you for the super chat, though. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. So, anyway, this one. It's called the dynamic duo, Lamont and Sonia. Okay. Now I don't, I'm guessing they must have called Lamont, somebody called Sonia or something on three way with Ernesto on the phone. Otherwise, we wouldn't have this recording. Hey, Chick fil A gal. All right, let's get into it, y'all. This video contains one call between Ernesto, Sonia, and Lamont on January 14th, 2023. Sonia had just left a video visit with Nesto and she's standing outside the jail waiting for a ride. You will hear Nesto ask Lamont to give Sonia some money and you will also hear Lamont offer to help Nesto with his and Shirley's things in storage. Take a listen. Hello, Nova. I'm stuck here. Look how I'm stuck here. <laughs> and my goddaughter, dumbass. I'm like, where you at? She's like, oh yeah, I'm sitting here with Katie and her hair, and her makeup down. I said, you were supposed to drop her off, drop Mozzie off, and then come back and get me. I was, oh. you know, fucked the whole plan up. Now I gotta wait for him to get his hair cut, and then for him to come back and get me. And then I'm like, I'm sitting here in the lobby with the. With the yeah, you gonna be a long time. I know, but it's an appointment. It's not a city, and it's, it's an appoint, appointment haircut. Hopefully, the boy is on schedule. Oh, okay, okay. He just started cutting yet? I don't know. I tried to call him. He was like, hold on. Maybe he was map questing his way there. But I, I, I'm in the vendor room looking at some snacks like, what can I eat? Do I, need to, do I need to lift my way back home? I don't know nobody here. And I thought that could pick me up. Damn. My sister cook, cause she she snuck in town. I gotta call her and see. And they're like, fuck y'all, don't come wait, get me. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. Which sister are you talking about? Tanya. Tanya came in town to surprise Katie for her birthday. Oh. Yeah. 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 No, you know Tanya, the one that looked like me. It's oh, Trisha oh, and there's she Tanya. Here. She here. She's here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she here. Team Tim. Team Tim for the birthday, for the festivities. Oh. Yeah, I want to say how far she at. She at my she at my place. She's staying at my my townhouse. So where is that at the zoo? Yeah, five dollars? Are you fucking kidding me? You want five dollars for? Them? No, five dollars not for that. Oh, I'm, I'll be for a little bag of right a little bag. You're talking about five dollars? What? Kind of prices y'all got? Hold on. For a bag of chips is five dollars. Please select the product. Hold on. It said it's one twenty five. That's still a lot. Oh. Thank you, Go Row Row. To standing where to be picked up. She's in love for for what she's in love for none. Is that what you're saying? I don't quite follow, but I, I think I I think I know. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, it is. One twenty-five. Yeah, I know it is. I would have put the chips here. Okay. okay. Thank you. Back in the seventies. Back back in the seventies. I'm gonna look sixty years old when I get up out of here. I'm my age. That's okay. You'll be sixty in a second. I was gonna say, nigga, you are sixty. Like, what you supposed? Look, let, let's break this down real quick. People kill me with this. I'm 54 years old. If I look 54, I think that should be fine. You don't want to look older than you are, 
And if you look younger than you are, that's a compliment. That's a blessing. But if you look your age, you that should be fine too. So he is 59 years old. Talking about he going to look 60 when he get out. Nigga, you is 60 if you 59. The hell they all the same. Shit. <laughs> I fuck you. I fuck you. Damn. Damn. County. I got to see her county jail. Oh, I'm so close to me now, babe. You got to see what? I got to sit here at the county jail. Oh. I'm going to watch it again. Being out in that cold. It's cold as shit outside. <laughs> and it's clean. That I, shit had me. I'm, you know, because when I was living here, I was in the hospital and in the house when it was cold. So I didn't really feel it. Right. I thought that shit today. I know you did. Mm-hmm. I know you did. That's what's crazy. That was broke for jazz. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, ma'am. Yeah. Well, his stamina. Hello. Hey. Hey. Yeah, I'm on the phone. What's, up, What's bro? going on, bro? You got it, right? I didn't know you can get visits, man. You should have been to over there. I've been there, came over there to see you, bro. I'll be right yeah, back, though. Yeah, I get, I get visits. Okay. Uh, shit, that's all all right, well, shit, next week, man. Next week, um, I'm I'm coming over, though. Okay. I'm coming to see you. And, and uh, I know she come up here. We can, we can go back and forth. She can come. And I should come, and we, get, you know what I'm saying? We can get. Hey, listen, can you stop all that noise? I'm trying to talk to my brother, and you keep on the back line. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's fine. Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 My brother. Yeah, I'm going to call this. Hey, I'm on the phone with my brother. She's talking about he's talking to his woman. Shut your goddamn, shut your mouth. You talk too much. God damn. That's why I have to be by myself on Saturdays. I can't. I can't get on Saturday. Yeah. You need a day of rest. Oh shit. You need a day of rest. I got to be by myself. I don't know what the hell is going on. Yeah, but uh, I'm gonna sign up. Uh, I call the day you have to do it on Monday is a holiday, so I'm gonna do it on Tuesday. I'm gonna sign up for Tuesday. Um, Oh yeah. I'm gonna come in on Tuesday and, uh, and sign up, and then that way every visitation I come over there. I wish it was a way you can get multiple visitations throughout the week, but no, it's once I mean, a week, I think. Huh? It's once a week. I come Saturday and I come Sunday. So Sunday's a new week. Okay. So next Sunday you can come visit them. So I come visit them next Sunday. Okay. You doing all right today, bro? Uh, hey, yes, it's well. This morning it really hit, man. I didn't even really feel like getting out of bed, to be honest with you, bro. I really yeah, I didn't feel you. like, you know, sometimes you can adapt to a lot of things. But that, what, that, what, that, what, what, Are you can adapt to this shit? Okay, quick question. This call took place January 14th of 2023. To our knowledge, just curious, because I hadn't heard it before, but to our knowledge, has Lamont come to see Nesto yet? Has next week come? Has Lamont ever been there? I'm just curious. Have we heard that? I heard, um, wasn't there a call day before yesterday or whatever where Lamont was supposed to be coming, but Sonia said, that was yesterday, that Sonia said, um, they won't let you in, they won't let you visit with me when I come to visit. So just so I'm clear. Has he? Been, nope. Everyone is saying nope in the chat. So what the fuck is the problem? Why ain't Lamont come to see him yet? And why is he still talking to Lamont for that matter? Wait, why hasn't Dre come to see him too? Does Dre live in Atlanta? Dre is bestie, and Dre knows what this life is like. So why hasn't Dre, has Dre been to see him? Like, what's wrong with his friend group? His friend group sucks. Oh my. His wife ain't come to see him, but he, he told her not to. He told this side chick. So I can see, though, know, he doesn't want to be, maybe he doesn't want, no, he wants Lamont to come. I don't understand this. This man been in there two years, and this was over a year ago, and Lamont says he's coming next week, and he ain't there yet. I, shit. Here we go. No, not, not, to, that, not to that case, I ain't. 
no, I can't. I wouldn't be able to adapt to none of this shit. Yeah. Because, you know, I have a problem owning what I do, but if I ain't do it, I ain't, I got a problem. Yeah, all right. I ain't worrying about that. All right. I, all right. I, guess, I wouldn't even work. But uh, what, I, what I got to get and what I need is, like I say, right now, the way they got done, I can't use the internet. I can't get no pictures to the, the tablet we used to get. I can't send no mail out to the tablet. I can't do nothing electronic. And that's how they got us now. That's how they got us. Yeah, it. they got everything electronic. That's, that's a little different, though. Yeah, so I can't use nothing. To, I can't use nothing no more. All time I can do it. talking on mute i'm sorry when she said the other day i'm not gonna lie i i agree with um with you tawana tawana d said because sonya is blocking everybody's visit by going saturday and sunday so okay so are those the only two days you can come like how does this work i don't even know how this works can he have well obviously he can have multiple visitors but i'm guessing can he only get visitation once a week is that what the case is? That he can only get a visit once a week, or can one person only come once a week? Like, I don't understand what the rules are because he's got all these people coming, but his close spring group or his family. I ain't heard about no kids coming to see him. I ain't heard about uh, his. Obviously, he told his wife not to come see him, but I've heard not heard one friend came to see him. Only this side chick. And a stranger who he met, or he didn't even meet, his side chick met online, a blogger. That's the only two people we know of. Oh, and Daryl, who popped up unexpectedly. Now, how did Daryl get to see him without being on a on a on a um list? How did Daryl get through to, to see him? Because he seemed surprised that Odu showed up. So doesn't he have to clear that the person can come? Like, this doesn't make sense to me. I'm very confused as to how this works and why these people who are in his family who, who love and care about him and say he's innocent, right? She said she talked to the family. They said their dad wouldn't do this kind of shit. Why would you leave him to, to just be out here by himself? Daryl went to see him twice, but Daryl's not his close friend group. He said he hadn't seen Daryl in 20 years. But where? what about Lamont? What about Dre? What about Laverta, the daughter? What about, what about all these other people that are in his close friend group and family? Why haven't any of those people come to see him? And I'm not going to lie. When Sonia said that the other day, that they are not going to let you visit with me, I almost felt like she was blocking too, like, I mean, that could be a true statement, but with her, who can trust it? Uh-oh, I'm sorry. Let me see. Um, Trusting my destiny said, then lied and said Daryl was being nosy. Right. And Daryl barely said two words and stayed less than five minutes. That's what I'm saying. He said he's being nosy, that he saw this. But Daryl said himself, he saw it on the news. He wanted to check it out, see how he's doing. But he can't come. My understanding is he can't even see Nesto unless Nesto gives him permission to see him. As a matter of fact, I heard Sylvia say about a week or two ago, hell, these days, I don't know. Maybe it was a week ago. I don't know. But I heard her say something about, I put in the request and he has to approve it. If he wants to see me, he has to approve it. So how did Daryl get past the gates? How did Daryl get in there and Nesto not know anything about it? Lies. Um, I also heard him say something the other day, too, that was a negative towards Daryl. But Daryl was the one, nigga, that you told to call your wife. If you don't trust Daryl, why did you tell Daryl to call your wife and uh, so that she can uh, he can assist her with some things she got going on? I think it had to do with the cars or something. So explain to me how this man who is a nosy. See, I hope Daryl's watching this shit too. I hope Daryl knows that we've seen him come visit. Um, I, I, I want to know. And I want to know who Daryl is because some of you have suspected that Daryl might have something to do with something. I don't know. Daryl didn't seem like that. Plus, if he hadn't seen this man in 20 years, he might have just legitimately been concerned and thought he was on a different path anyway and that, you know, he didn't expect this. Who knows? Who knows? But I know this shit doesn't add up. These people are all whack, if you ask me. Ugh. They get magazines in. And 
some books and Liga Mayo. That is it. So if you can get her some money to help me with that, I, I really pay my time by. What do you mean? Uh, some money. How about I buy him some books? Take the read. Start reading. Okay. Well, how much money do you need? And whatever she need and some telephone money because that's what she really who was helping me with all the calling and whatever I do because uh, so how much money, money do you need? How much money do you need? No, two fifty. Turn out. Where you at? All right. What you want to uh, send me a cash up? I send it to you right. Now. Or if you had a line, you could pull up. I got a line. I got a line until Monday morning. Well, right, tomorrow. Pull up. I'll pull up right now and I will give it to you. I'm at the county waiting on my ride. Where, where you at? I'm at the county waiting on my ride. I'm at, where you need a ride to? West, um, what's that called? West Midtown? All right, well, if you need a ride, I, I just had to come in and do you a ride wherever you need to go and I give you the money. Okay, uh, how far are you from uh, county? From Conn County. Are you that way? Uh, Cobb County. I'm pretty sure I don't know where Cobb, Cobb County is. Just do Cobb County, um, Marietta, Cobb County Adult Vacation. Oh, that's Center. down the street. We okay. right down. We we right down the street. Mm -hmm. hey, Cobb County down the street. Hey, 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 hey big way. I don't know the address. I just type in, oh. in Cobb County Adult Detention, and I, that's where I go. It's some service something by. Hold on. Look at my phone. So what, bro? I was telling her to, uh, to take it to your real fast. Um, to take it to your real fast. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 1825 County Service Parkway, Marietta. Well, yeah, yeah, to take it to him. I know. Hold on. I'm trying to do a... Okay. Hey, is this, you can't say I'll call you back. Yeah, oh, okay. Why are you being aggressive like that? Look, you don't know what bust your ass in your head and I ain't even going to go All right. Uh, okay, so I tell you what. This, this, this. Sorry. I'm not saying that anybody is, is off on this, but let me understand this. How do you put a man on the list to come in and you don't believe he'll come, but you put his name on the list only for him to show up and then you call him nosy. Now that makes no sense, right? Am I tripping? This nigga is, he is trash. He is so trash. It, it, he's trash. And because he plays people the way he does against each other and talks about everybody to the other, that's why I can't believe he would be innocent of anything anybody accused him of because he's sitting here lying when he doesn't have to lie. It, these lies are stupid. So if he'll lie about something stupid, he damn sure will lie about something big. You can't trust this nigga. He is a mess. He's a whole damn mess. Let me see. Daryl Daryl is him. Wait, what? Daryl is him and Martha... Oh, Daryl is their their former um neighbor, Lexi. Uh oh. Oh, okay, okay. Dre lives in Atlanta too. See, I don't understand why people can't come see him. Look, why can't no look? You can't so this public thing doesn't matter now because it's very public. They talk to him on the phone all the time. If they don't want, what's the difference? We know what Dre looks like. And we're listening to these conversations. Why can't Drake come see him? That's his best friend. In two years, you can't come see me? Shall I? This is what we're going to do. All right. Do you have... Okay. You got somebody coming to get you or you don't have nobody coming to get you? I can't wait for my son to get a haircut before I get picked up. He gets a haircut. Okay, because I'm in... I thought this was called Trina. She said it's what? Just go in that county. Are you somewhere else? Can you yeah. like that? I from here. But I'm in Gwinnett. But if you send me your cash app, I'll send it over to you right now. I can cash app it to you. How long oh, is this okay. one going to be a while? No. I mean, his corner was at 2.30. So you can be down by 3. Okay. All right. So you got He out this way. Yeah. Okay. He out All right. Cool. I'm in the lobby watching right. the basketball. All right. Well, Hold up. Excuse me, y'all. I'm starving. So I'm eating some crackers. But let me let, just understand this. 
I don't know why he can't just cash up her, right? Why she just doesn't go ahead and accept the cash app. This is an innocent transaction. This isn't some nefarious, you know, transaction based on some, you know, mess. So why can't he just, why can't she just uh, accept the cash app, go inside? What's he need the money for? Is this to put on his books or for the attorney? Because this $250 amount, it just keeps ringing around here. What's this $250 for, y'all? I was getting my crackers, okay? And my ginger ale. Lamont, would you say, Lexi? Um, Lamont would have gotten cussed out. Let's see. Hop on that hand scooter. Not hand scooter. Y'all mess. You doubt he'll hear from Daryl again? I wouldn't. You wouldn't hear from me again. If he knows anything about how this man has played him, he wouldn't. I wouldn't have shit to do with this sorry ass nigga. Yep. And he Daryl has a clean record too. Yeah, leave this nigga in the in the wind. Leave him in your past rear view mirror. Okay. So it says, wait, how is he asking for money for Sonya to call him? Yeah, I'm trying to understand what is this money for exactly. Sonya takes up all the weekly visits. Well, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. So does he only get one visit a week? Well, now he's doing business from her in the month. So how come ain't nobody come to see him? Maybe. Well, send me cash up. I'll send that over to you. You there, bro? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll yeah, send cash up, though. You don't have cash up? You got jail? I got jail. I got cash up, too. I don't know. I'm trying to see up. what it is. Yeah, just uh, screenshot it. Send me over. And right. I'll send them on it. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you, uh, Claire. Uh, that's all good. Yeah, that's yeah. all good. Claire, Claire. Uh, all the folks that I got, they, uh, they got approved on their spot, so they're going to move on. Yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm on. So what is it anything? Did you want to go over there and deal with that store stuff? Or you want to leave that alone? Oh, man, just let that shit fly by, man. Cause I can't, I can't find them folks. Uh, I don't know. I don't no, know. I got, I got my folks over there. They're going, going, going. They're going up in there and do what you know, do what got to be done. I just needed to know, you know. You don't even need them folks. My oh, people go over there and, and clip that right quick and take everything so she can put it up. If you want me to move on that. Uh, they, that's fine. If they want to do that. All right, that's cool. I just wanted to make sure, you know, that, uh, because she said she needed to get us some clothes and get us stuff. I don't know if some of our clothes, I just ain't got no clothes. I know, I know. That's just they, 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 Right, yeah, yeah, you know what they say. Right now, I'm trying to fight my motherfucking freedom right now. Right. I can't, this is the time you say I got to sit back and just got to, I got to sit back and think right now for real. Yeah, time. sit back and think. It's just giving you some time to meditate, that's all. You don't know, sometimes I say this right here. I was listening to the guy the other day before September 11th. He was running through the airport trying to get to the plane. He was bamming on the door for him to open it. It wasn't meant for him to go on the plane. It was meant for everybody else to leave. That same plane ran into the building. Love, Joy. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Thank you for the gifted memberships. Who got it? Let me see. Tiffany F., Tyra White. Uh, oh. Nesto's frame dismissal. <laughs> Y'all stupid. Stephanie Cherry. That's one, two, three, four. And girl, what now? Hold on. I'm I'm, I'm signing you right now. I can't really see it. Shoot, and it's going by. Okay. Girl, let me, let me, hold on. I'm gonna get it together here. Girl, what's that? What's the T? Girl, what's the T? Got it. Okay. Thank you for the gifted memberships. Thank you, Love Joy. Thank you for blessing the channel and blessing the folks in the chat. Thank you so much. Hell, y'all are, look, y'all not just uh, making grown woman vibes chat green. Y'all trying to make my damn chat green. Hell, practically the whole chat's green. Hallelujah. That's a blessing. 
thank you so much for blessing the channel. Enjoy, everybody. Members Monday is two days away. Yay. Okay. They're back. He was next. He was damning. He was on the other side of the door from going getting on the plane. So sometimes in life, you don't know what God and what the purpose of things because we don't understand it. But sometimes we are put in a certain place in a certain predicament for certain reasons that are clueless to us. So it's not always a bad thing. It's, it's kind of difficult to look at it like that, but everything happened for a reason. You got support. You got people care about you. You got, you can call, you can talk. Most people I tell you this all the time. Them people in there, they ain't got that. They ain't got nobody to even listen to their phone call. <laughs> yep. Yeah, who are these other people that support? Cause I only hear him talking to three people. Sonya, Dre, and Lamont. Oh, and maybe Dion here and there. I see. What about the other kids? What about the other friends? What about the ex um, employees? Because, see, he didn't treat nobody bad. He didn't misuse people, you know? And when they came to work for him, it was a wholesome environment. And he was a good boss and leader. So if all of this is true, where the fuck are all these people that used to work for him? Why aren't they supporting? Why aren't they coming out telling their stories of how great of an employer he was to them? I'm confused. Where are all these people that support him and love him? What does that look like? What does that support and love look like? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If that's love, hate my ass, okay? Hate me. Shit. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. wish they had somebody to put money on their books. First of all, half these movies out here broke. They ain't got no money. So for somebody to even have a slight bit of help is extremely hard. The girl just called me telling me she paid a light bill in three months. I said, well, what you been doing all weekend? Partying. So I got the priorities mixed up. Her this. She didn't move back home with her mama. She didn't move back home with her mama. Mm -hmm. ready to ground during that trip. Right. These moments out here broke. They ain't got no money. So for somebody to even have a slight bit of help is extremely hard. The girl just called me and told me she paid a light bill in three months. I said, well, what you been doing all weekend? Partying. I got the priorities mixed up. Her this. She didn't move back home with her mama. She didn't move back home with her mama. Mm -hmm. She ain't ready to ground during that trip. Right. Everybody, look, you have to look at things. And, I, you know, we just, we cut, we, we cut different. That's point blank. I yeah. realized that early on. Everybody ain't cut the same. You know, everybody was raised differently. Everybody raised differently. A lot of people, you know, men and women. Mm -hmm. So, so it's, not, it's a sad situation, but it ain't nothing to be all the way sad about because you got help. You got people fighting for you. What about you ain't had nobody fighting for you? No, that's true. That's, that's true. No, you're right. You about going that. all the way to visit. She ain't even from you. That's, that's true. Somebody really care about you. That's very true. I just said, whatever you need, hey, call me as much as you, you want to call me. I ain't, it don't bother me. It's going to get. I don't know if she cares about him or she just crazy about him. Okay. You hear what I'm saying? And I mean those terms literally. Okay. Not figuratively. Either she crazy about his ass and that's what made her get her ass up and then move across state lines. Not because her kids were there. Hell, now I, I do believe she, he did, she didn't come for the kids. Hell, she can't even go out with her kids all at the same time and they haven't in 20 years. So help me understand this. I don't get it. I don't get this at all. This is a sh damn shame. Uh, I don't know if I would call her that her behavior is caring. I call her behavior desperate. Okay. Desperate for connection. I don't know. I'm beginning to believe he put a spell on his on her. Okay. 
he put a spell on something that he used on her or something because I don't get it. I don't get it at all. It's very weird. You pay one way or another. If I don't pay it, somebody else going to pay it. And if they don't pay it, somebody else going to pay it. Somebody's going to pay for it. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Oh, you told me that a long time ago. You said, stop worrying about all them damn bills. You know what I did? I stopped worrying about them. As soon as I stopped worrying about them, they got paid. I used to sit around, oh, I got to pay this bill. Oh, I got to. All that dry mouth talking and that. Fuck them damn bills. They're going to get paid anyway. They're going to get paid. Okay. And I, I... Oops. I got to remember to take it off mute because I'm eating these crackers, y'all. So I'm going to do it in your ear. But Samantha Lake, that's what it is right there. She was bored. She ain't got nothing going on. I might as well move to Atlanta. I can kick it with the kids if I want to. And I can go see my man every week. And I know where my man is. I know he ain't cheating because I know who's on the visitor's law. I know he ain't cheating because my phone calls were released. So um, uh, if there was another chick, trust me, those would be released too. She feels safe with this relationship. I really believe it. I think she, she gained something from this. It gives her something to do, something to focus on. And she can always uh, tell you where her nigga is, okay? As long as he ain't screwing nobody in there, she feels safe. That's what I think. But who am I? All right, let's get back to it. I have a damn if they ain't getting paid. This is true. So I said that to say, don't worry about it. You're going to get out when it's time. But right now, it's again, you need the opportunity to focus on things. No, get your mind right. That's true. It slows you down and make you reflect on your life. Yeah. You, you evaluate your life. This is mine evaluating. That's what you're doing. And ain't no wrong with that. We all need that. Oh, that's true. That, that's true. That's true. We all need that. Sometimes it'll give you opportunity to pay attention to other things and realize uh, you, you can move certain people and certain things out your life. Just so happens. Your value was always put in the right places with the right people. That's what you got. To, that's how you know you was on the right path. Because if you didn't have, if you, your value wasn't put in the right place with the right people, you wouldn't have the level of support you got right now. Well, you said something then, boy. I done taught you well, sir. And you said I know, right? You know you. <laughs> Baby brother. Oh, well, you got down with I'm just telling you, so. Yeah. I don't like to hear you say, I'm down. I just want to give up. That ain't true. You don't want to give up. You tell it all the time. Hey, man, don't start that shit, man. I don't want to hear that shit. And that's what you can't say to me. I want to say that to you, but you tell me. I don't want to hear that shit, man. Oh, man, don't start that shit. What you need? Yeah, that's me. That's me. Yeah, what yeah, you yeah. need, yeah. man? Don't <laughs> call me with that. Listen, I got to go. I get uh, back with some other man? <laughs> So I'm going to tell you like you tell me. Don't start that shit. We got to pay for all these phone calls. I need to hear happiness. Okay. All right, then. You're right. You, you're right, sir. You, you're a big brother right now. You big Positive brother. thinking. I need happiness and positive thinking. I stay on these people. You know, I even went um, with, uh, with, with, with our folks. We all went out the other day. I took them all out. Try to take them to a nice restaurant so everybody can laugh and just try to break the, 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 the monotony of what's going on and just try to get people's mind off of everything and just try to just keep it going. Keep constantly, keep constantly keeping it going. Yeah, I, you know what? And I know that I know our people had a good time. And, right, uh, right. They, right. No, they, had right. A, I, they had a good time. I know they told you they enjoyed they stuff. Everybody had a good time. Went there, uh, ate a little something, drank a little something. That's what everybody want to do is hang out. I okay, I think our folks is, um, you know, it's not them folks or them little people or your folks. They he be killing me with that bullshit. Them folks, them folks, these folks, your folks, them little people, your people. Oh God. 
That's what you told me. Everybody wants to hang out. No, you're right with you. Hang out and have you're a good right. time. Do, go to a little restaurant. Laugh. But sometimes that's good. Especially when you got a lot going on. Yeah, I guess what it is. I had so many uh, things and people and opportunities on my own shoulders. Now I just don't want to let it loose and let, let it come back. That's probably what it is. I know right. that. Right. Yeah. And, and this, this right here is the last ticket because this, this is a uh, computer society now. So you can't do nothing if you ain't got no gadgets right now. And right now it's being like they, they're trying to take that from me. Yeah. What, yeah. You, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That's what that's being like to me. They're trying to take any available opportunity where I can survive. Because that, that's how you Yeah. Survive. Yeah, and it's funny how they pick that specific crime. Yeah. And all the penalties that come behind it when you lock in. Yeah. They don't put them up against the wall, make them sweat. So that's what right. kind of mind fuck you. Don't let them do that shit. That's exactly. You tell them the truth. Boy, you tell mm-hmm. them the truth now. I don't you let them the do truth. it. You show right. them. That's why I say stay strong. Don't give up. You don't want to talk. You don't want you know. Because it's power in the tongue. It's power in what you say. So if you believe it, then... You can achieve it. You. Right. <laughs> no, Absolutely. You believe it, you can achieve it. <clears throat> if you believe it, you can achieve it. What They're going to start singing, I believe I can fly, man. Good, good scenario right here. You went over there to California, went over there to uh, the, uh, Mercedes Benz, you said, you know what, I'm finna get this G-Wagon, the burgundy one. You <laughs> bought that one. You laughing, but I'm, I'm finna bring it Go to you ahead. now. You bought that one. You said, come to L.A. I came to L.A. We rode around. You said, where you want to go? I said, I don't know. You said, shit, here. Take the car. Go wherever you want to go. I was gone for two days. I was calling that one time. <laughs> what? That's I ain't even come back. What, what you riding am, here? Am I making it up? No. Rolls Royce. He was gone for two days. I was gone for two days in the Rolls Royce. The G Wagon, I drove it. I ain't never been in one. You said, well, you say, well, why don't you just buy one? I said, what? You said, well, why? Let's be clear about something. I don't know how Nesto was buying this shit. I, I, and once I buy it, I just let you drive it and say, go where you want in it. And you come back two days later. That tells me y'all still in these cars. Because ain't no way in hell a, a car I bought with my hard-earned money and it's new and it's nice. I'm going to let anybody drive it, let alone the first, as soon as I get it, whether it's a G-Wagon or Rolls Royce. Are you fucking kidding me? And he didn't come back till two days later? Yeah. That shit was stolen or something was foul about it. Why don't you just buy one? <laughs> I said, buy one? I can't buy this shit. He said, yeah, you can. You can do anything you want to do. Put your mind to it. Off that, just, you said that. I done bought four of them. Off that, this is true. You ain't like, I remember like it was yesterday. Mm-hmm. Like it was yesterday. You can it. If you believe it, you can achieve it. You said, just buy one. Shit, that ain't that big of a deal. I said, what? Buy one? You said, yeah, just go ahead and get it. Just buy one. Don't even worry about it. Buy one. Don't worry about it. Buy one. And I have four. I think this nigga is, that's cold word. You want one? Hell, we can get you one. You want one? Oh, you can get it? Just get it. Yeah, ain't no way in hell. He talking about he done had four. No. I, 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 come on with it. Come. Oh, here's the other thing. So is that how, how's Lamont? See, you know what? Maybe he feels like Lamont is his best bet, too, of getting the money. Because I don't think the money for the bail, or the bond, rather, I don't think Lamont has that in his pocket. I I don't think that uh, he even believes that Lamont has that in a bank account or anything. He just knows Lamont can get to it some kind of way if need be. But that shit ain't going to be legal. I just don't believe it. That's my belief based upon information and understanding. It is my belief that this man is scamming to get whatever he gets and would, and Nesto knows he would be scamming to come up with the money to get him out. 
my question is, is are you just trying to come out for a little while, sir? Because what would be the point of anybody paying out of their pocket $100,000 at a minimum to get you out knowing that that money goes away? Like you'll never see that money again. It does not matter if he comes back to court or not. You will never get that $100,000 plus back again. So that makes me think, Oh, dude might do something to get his hands on the money. And I believe he wants to come out. I think he's got a whole nother. I think if he comes out, he's going to try to flee some kind of way. Because why? I, I, mm -mm, mm -mm. But I don't think he's coming out. Let's be very clear. That's what I'm telling you. I tell you the same thing. Just stay focused. Know what it is you want. Know which direction you're going. And you'll see your way through it. You'll see yeah. your way all the way through it. And you don't have to worry about it. You I, appreciate that, I, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate the conversation of uh, the past because you're right. Words of enlightenment. It, it, it really, really is. Because I don't forgot about all this shit. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Sometimes you got to remind yourself. Not uh, enlightenment, but let's go back because I, I, I hate to, you know, be petty, but I'm petty. What did she say? Enlightened? Did she say enlightenment or did she say enlightenment? I gotta hear that again. You yeah. say all the way through it, and you don't have to worry about it. You will definitely see it. I appreciate that. I appreciate the conversation of uh, the past because you're right. Words of enlightenment. Yeah, it, it really, it's really an enlightenment. Is, I don't forgot about all this shit. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta remind yeah. yourself of uh, yeah. where we done came from, what we done been through, and how it took us to get there. Sometimes you have to remind yourself that uh, of, of a lot of different mm. things. Mm -hmm. You have to remind yourself of certain things. You told me. I'm so embarrassed by these people. <laughs> so embarrassed. They are embarrassed to, to, to the black community as a whole. Oh, my gosh. And they're down there in the black mecca, and they are showing their asses and making us embarrassed. They need some more enlightenment because the enlightenment they've been getting is not enough. They need it to be enlighteningly more. Okay. They need some more enlightenment. Hey, bro, don't worry about that. Don't worry about Carla. She needs you. You don't need her. Keep pushing. Don't even I look did. back. I said that. And what did I do? Keep pushing. Then look back. That's right. You, you have, you, you have that, done that. That don't mean... He has listened to you a lot, hasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, man. That's what yes. I'm saying. You listen I mean, to me. You tell me something. You tell me something. I tell him something. We've been in this shit a long time together. We help each other. He give me ideas. I give him ideas. And that's how we move. So, I don't like to see him when he down or see him not, not even just physically down, mentally down. You know, I like to see him where he motivated, he keeps himself together. And sometimes he might see me say, hey, now, you know, you keep eating at them restaurants, it's going to mess around and get fat. I said, okay, <laughs> let me pull back from the restaurant then. The only white collar they know about are white collar crimes, honey. That is it. That is all. <laughs> Trisha and Trisha said, none of them have white collar jobs, but are trying to live a life of the rich and famous. Yeah, they have, but they got like white Collar crimes on their on their you know on their side, okay. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, let me stop this again. I'll come back a minute. That girl said the three ignorant stooges. You know what? The other day in that in that um one of the visits recently where he called her curly, I was like, she ain't got no curls in her hair. I was like, the only curly I know is from the day of three stooges. And here you go, that girl talking about they the three ignorant stooges. Child, I think they are. And she's curly. Who is Mo, though? Who is Mo? Hookah and drinking. I don't want to go over there and smoke no hookah and drinking. That's what you like to do then. Go ahead, buddy. Have a good time with it, but I'm sure ready to go back to my bus and chill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's bus. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Keep them payday. Yep. You see, you see what I'm saying? So we have to remember these things because these are the things that will get us to the next space in the next place. 
That is That's true. what I'm trying to say. So whatever comes up against us, we just continue to stay focused, continue to pray up, and just continue to move forward. Ah, I can't wait. That's, how, that's the only way you can do it. I can't wait, sir. It's just hard to see it right now. That's all, but it's there. It's there. It's a, well, it ain't hard to see one thing. You ain't got a hard. You ain't got. It ain't hard for you to see your support system. That's what makes the difference. Is that support system? You know, you got people to get in a world of trouble, but they ain't got no support system. They could have got out of a lot of situations if they would have had a support system. Look at all the people that's been wrongly convicted of crimes if they would have just had a support system and the money to be able to get out of what it was that they got into. We ain't talking about no people who didn't commit a crime. We ain't talking about no innocent folks who was brought in by the police. We is not talking about them. We is talking about this nigga. And he's guilty. And I don't give a damn what nobody says. He's guilty. Yes. Yes. Burner's rules. Oh, right here. Burner's, my favorite. Thank you. <laughs> here we go. That is true. You know, a lot of people wouldn't be in the situations they are in if they had just somebody to tell them, hey, are you sure you want to do that? Why don't you do this instead of doing that? The girl just told me a few minutes ago. She said, "Well, you know what? I I would have I I wouldn't have done nothing with my life if you hadn't told me. Why don't you get your ass up here and do something with your life? All you doing is hanging out here at night. Why don't you go to school and educate yourself or do something?" She said, "I'm happy you told me that. Now look at me. It made me feel good. I was like, okay, well, you know what? I have done one good thing in life." Mm -hmm. I done a lot, but I feel like okay, I done done one good thing. <laughs> Gave back to the community. <laughs> Gave back to the community. Gave back to the community. Somebody that said like that, I probably said it in a different way. But she got the message. The message was you need to do something with your life. You get oh, that was the clean version. That was exactly the clean version because <laughs> I probably gave her a whole lot. Yeah, I'm almost for certain I ain't said it like that, but. No, nah, bro, you just have to stay focused, man. Keep your head up. Keep your head above water. That's what you need, some books or something you can read. Challenge your mind. Mm -hmm. Right now, you know, something that you can, you know, or you have like a spiritual thought or just something. You need a distraction. You need have some people right. distracted in there. Books will take you somewhere when you read books. Right. They take you somewhere. And then dealing with them niggas in there with all them jailhouse stories that they got. You don't want to hear that shit, because y'all ain't even live the same type of life. So that shit that they talk right. about is not even, you can't even relate to half of that shit. Yep. And then you ain't Wait a minute. He can't relate to the shit of the people that's in jail? Is that what he's saying? Is that who he's talking about? You can't even relate to half that shit? This nigga lives a life of crime. He is a whole career criminal. I think they can relate on a lot of shit. I think they can totally relate. Now he and I can't relate, but to a lot of the motherfuckers in here that are that have been there and doing some long time too, and have a a background of that, oh yeah, he can relate. They relate to him. He relates to them because his lifestyle was a fake. It was fraud. It was not real. It was smoking mirrors. Yeah, different. Sociable, so I know you ain't socializing with that many people. That shit done got on your nose. Say it again. <laughs> you, ain't social, you don't socialize with them people like that. Oh, okay. Thanks, sir. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Okay. So you ain't the only person know you ain't socialized. So, you know, you got to have an outlet. So the phone is an outlet. So that's why I tell you, call me all the time. Now, this morning I saw you come, but I went up at 8 this morning because I just had got home at 5.30 a.m. I figured that. Uh, yeah, I figured that. Yeah. I try to catch you while, you know, sometimes we get to use that free phone, so I try to call as much as possible, as free as I can, and I can talk better. So mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's all. And it's quieter. And it's quieter, so that's all. Yeah. So if I catch you off your, your office office, that's what it is. Yes. Yeah, I was sleeping. I ain't, I, was <laughs> yeah, I, ain't, I ain't see it until I woke up this morning. Oh, shit. I will roll over and talk to you. Yeah, I wake up. Nah, I seen that, but uh. What? Yeah, you just have to, uh, just have to stay focused, bro. You're going to be all right. 
you got you got a dynamic duo. Yeah, I do. Mm-hmm. You got I a do. Dynamic, I do. Dynamic I, duo. Yeah. And I sure appreciate. It. Yeah. I sure appreciate it. Mm-hmm. I'm for real. I, I yeah. She has a false sense. De- Delta Blue says, you would think Sonya knew Lamont for years. I feel sorry for her. She has a way of coming across like soon she meets somebody, she know him. Like the way she was too familiar talking to Dion that way. She don't know that boy. She ain't never seen him a day in her life. Oh, that, I take that back. Supposedly, they were in the same place at the same time and that Dion saw her, but they didn't meet. But she talked to him like she'd been talking to him for years or she done paid for some shoes for his ass or pay some tuition or back rent the way she talked to him. Same now with this, like you're saying with Lamont, the, she gets too comfortable too easy. She's too comfortable with, with old boy, with Ernesto, because she doesn't know him. But in her mind, they tight. That's her man. She love him. Boy, bye. Got about a whole lot of shit because the devil's in my head. So you're right. It's so overwhelming. Yeah, yeah. well, you know, we all... We all and that's just unexpected. You see that? Yeah. yeah. But you know what? I ain't going to say that. I'm going to get you right. You're right, bro. What you're saying. Shit ain't it one minute because the nigga didn't do what he supposed to do anyway. That was just a go. That was a gopher. You see what I'm saying? That means that if it, if that didn't have my still wanna got the shit anyway. They want me. You have Remember. one minute remaining. Praise the Lord. Okay, well I mm-hmm. sure appreciate you taking care of, sir. because uh, I, I definitely It's all good. Care. Hey, send it over to me, sir. Did you send it to me? Yes, I'm saying. All right, cool. Give me like ten minutes, I'll have it over to you in ten minutes. All right. All right. Thank you. Okay. Bro. All right. Mm-hmm. All right, bro. Holler back all right. at me. All right, later, brother. All right, later. You need to Call me back, call me back. Yeah, I'm calling you back. Yeah. Okay, call me back. I'm calling me Thank you for using Global Telling. Thank you for watching. Please no, like. Thank you, girl. Thank you, Shay. Go on over there and hook up with Shay from Phone Calls from Prison. Um, and, and be sure to subscribe to her members and her Patreon. Her Patreon in particular, because like she said, there are things that Sonya knows she can't say. And she tries her best to say them now, all because of Sylvia's ass. That's another person she has gotten overly familiar with. She, she, you would think that Sonya knows Sylvia and Sylvia acts like she know her too. They're both, they're kind of like two peas in the pod, if you ask me. Both of them get very, very familiar with people instantly. Okay. Very weird. But anywho. All right, y'all. Well, any comments, questions, concerns? Look, I'm going to drop my link. If anybody wants to come up and, and give us your take on what we have heard today, you are you know, more than uh, welcome to come on up here and share. I'll put the link in the chat. Please hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it. But if you would like to come up, we can talk. And if not, that's okay because I probably should get ready to head over to my cousin's house. Plus, I'm starving, and I hope they got some food over there. Jesus. Um, <laughs> Tiffany said, uh, I agree, weirdos. Yes, crazy. Would you say, um, the real VB? He could have sent the money while that. Yeah, what's the point? See, I got a feeling he never sent it. You think he sent that money, y'all? See, Lamont always comes across like they can't count on him. Like he makes false promises. And see, he does all that philosophizing to kind of cover up whatever it is he's uncomfortable with or with himself or whatever. He's much like Nesto in the sense that they want to come across a certain way when their shit is really raggedy in real life. That's what I get. Just me. Hey, Patty Patty, what you say? Sonya is trying to take SS. Oh, Shirley's place in Nesto's life. His family and friends are not welcoming. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh, I got somebody in the back. Hold on one second. All right. Vicky. Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I don't, I think Lamont did. I think Lamont has sent money. I think Deanna sent more money than what Sonia lets on. Um, I just think so that you, she can, she controls it. Okay. So you think they're sending, well, I know in this case, he's obviously supposed to be sending her the money, 
but wasn't there what oh but wait here there was that one time when Dion I'm sorry when Dre sent Dion money that Nesto says he never got I got a feeling Nesto got that money but he was just trying to get more what you think about that well Sonia and yeah well of course we know Nesto he's 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 bouncing around from person to person ain't nobody doing nothing Nobody's doing nothing for me. It, mm -hmm. it, I ain't got nobody in my corner. So mm -hmm. he he pull mouths a lot. He pull mouths to everybody. So every, to everybody, he doesn't have anything. He doesn't have anything in the corner. But the problem is, is that he doesn't you he doesn't maximize his commissary funds. I I've had a DUI before. I've had to do like I think it, I did twenty seven days like as a part of my my sentence or whatever. Right. Um, by the grace of God, I didn't hurt anybody, and you know it was just, you know, first first offense, whatever. Learning but lesson. You, yeah, lesson learned. Um, you, when you somebody puts money in your books, it's greatly appreciated, especially if it's not your money that like they're putting on your books, and you maximize that out. Nestle just sits on the phone, and he he's so anxious and he has anxiety, so he just wants to talk to somebody. He doesn't, and he probably can't read very well, so he he's can't. not. No. And it, you know, they don't have picture books in jail. And most of the time is, 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 you know, those, those are books that the time that I spent in jail, I think I, I read 30 books in those 27 days. I just sat in my, sat in my bunk and I read, mm -hmm. I didn't really talk. I mean, I talked to some of the girls, but you maximize your time and you just, you try to learn as much as possible. And you, you know, you think about what you've done and that's the punishment. Mm -hmm. He is. I think he's just wasting money and he lies to everybody. But I also think that Sonia puts the money on her phone account with, for, for her phone number. Oh, so, okay. Cause I, I think from what somebody told me, um, in Cobb County, I think there's two ways you can do it. You can put it on the phone account or you can put it on towards somebody's phone number. And then you put it on a commissary, the commissary account, so you can order stuff. Okay. okay. So I'm thinking that she's been, she was putting money on her phone number or on, one, on her one or two phone numbers. And then also you got to think he's also putting money on other people's pens too. Well, hold on one second. So when you say on the phone number, so when they're putting, do you live in Georgia by chance? I don't, but I, I've yeah. talked to some people who do live in, live in that area. So you're saying that you can put money. So if... I have somebody in inside and I can put money on the, on my number so that whenever he wants to call me, he, I've, I paid up enough for him to call me. Correct. I could, I could put something on somebody else's number, but you can also put money on a pen. So that means he wouldn't necessarily, if you put money on his pen and he can call whoever he wants. Is that how that Yes. Works? So you can put you can put uh, money on an um, inmate's account <clears throat> just in general, like for their 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 phone purposes, mm -hmm. um, and then you can put money because they they split it up because it used to just be one big bank, one big like fund account where you can just use whatever you have on your account. You either use it for commissary, use it for for phones, mm -hmm. but I think the way they have whoever whichever company they're using now, and it, because it's Global Tel Link and a different company for commissary, mm -hmm. they, they split it up. So it's one for commissary, one for uh, phone. So you have to kind of specify if you want it on the phone or if you want it on the, uh, want it on commissary. And I think that's why people had so much trouble, like trying to figure out how to navigate and put the money on the phone. Oh, and then he, okay. and I think that's why they didn't want, they wanted Sonya to do it because she was, they were using different people's pin numbers. I want to understand, I want to, I, you know, I wish I could talk to Shay and just, and maybe I don't say, maybe she couldn't answer this now. We'd have to wait until like all this is said and done, but I want to know how she was able to figure out what some of the other pins were. Is it because, the, does it say something at the beginning? Like I, I think they're searching by the people's phone numbers. I think they've gotten to that point where they're searching by the phone numbers that were called. Can you, you know, cause you probably can do a public record request for all the people who've called, this you know, eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. 
you know, so I think that that's what they've kind of figured. They probably had, she said her husband's really good at, at doing the request. So he's probably, you know, men are really, you know, they're puzzle masters, so they can yeah. kind of figure that stuff out. So he probably figured out like a way because they're figuring out all these little different pins. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I, but I honestly think that that's the reason why they didn't, they, kept, he kept telling Sonya, no, just give it to her. She'll do it. She'll do it. Mm -hmm. And because she knew which pin number he was using at that time, because, you know, inmates come and go. Mm -hmm. But so he's like, okay, well, I'm, you know, I got probably got, I got this little young cat who's gonna let me use his pen. And you don't know if you can't trust inmates. You don't I know. I was gonna say, yeah. I mean, what if, what if that person, first of all, there's a couple things that could happen. One, you put it on my pen, I might just call whoever the fuck you wanna call. Exactly. Right? On your money. But the other thing is, what if you put some money on my pen today and then tomorrow I find out I'm getting out? Somebody paid my bond, I'm out of here. Yep. And that money goes right to that inmate. So. And like out here, I'm in Vegas. So out here, what they do is they release you with a debit card. They used okay. to give you, they used to give you your, like, they would put your cash in like a, like, kind of like an evidence bag or a property bag. Mm -hmm. um, if you had cash on you or whatever. Mm -hmm. But now if you have cash on you or if you have commissary funds, they put it on a debit card when they release you which I think a lot of places have turned to. So you don't know if, you know, she could be, I'm going I'm to go put a hundred dollars on there. And then tomorrow he gets a, you know, the, the person whose account you put it on, he gets out and you still got $75 sitting on there. You never hear from them again. Yep. And in some ways, to be quite honest with you, if I let you use my pen, what am I getting out of it? I don't know you nigga. I mean, you, the best, the only thing that I could think of, because when I knew, I, I knew that I, when I did my little sentence, I knew the days, I knew my exact release date. Mm -hmm. um, so I was very sympathetic to the girls who, because they're very, there are a lot of intelligent and, and nice people in there. You just have to, you, of course, sure. you have to be careful. Yeah. So I, you know, if I knew I was getting out, I didn't really need to speak to anybody. I just knew who was going to pick me up, be ready for when I call you. I'm going to call you a few hours before, you know, whatever. So I would just let people use my phone. I didn't have to, I, for me, I, I wasn't like a hardened criminal. So it didn't really bother me. People use my phone, but somebody like Nesto and the people that he's probably in there with, mm. you've got to pay them. That's what I'm saying. What is it? What's in it for me? So if I leave with the $75, that was just my damn fee for giving you leeway to use my shit i mean in some ways people i'm sure people think like that of course they do and it's i mean and he knows that too he's a scammer like you you got to pay people for that it's like okay because they, they they're tax i'm pretty sure if i was somebody like like him like why you want to use my pen my friend you know because something's up with you and if i right. was my case my case was still pending i'm like why you want to use my pen i'll be nervous what like, you doing okay, on these so phones you might want to use my pen because you literally, you honestly don't have any money and you don't know how you can call somebody, I guess. That's one way. But other than that, I'm with you. I would be wondering, well, what's this dude got going on that he can't use his own damn pen and you got cash available and you don't want to use it? I would be right. asking him that question. I'd be, I, I don't know how, I, maybe they or can't let, look people up, but. They I'd ask be. you, they, they'll ask, I mean, I know guys are a lot different too. Like and women, for the women's jails um, or in prisons, I don't know about prison, but I, from what I, I watched some prison shows, from what I see, like child abuse charges are serious for women. Um, like, you know, or you, you, you take out a child, you take a child's life or whatever. Those are serious for women because a lot of women can't see their kids. For men, it's the the charge that he's in there for that has the high bond. Mm. So, you know, people might be like, "Let me see your paperwork. What you in here for?" Or because right. they might they oh. might ask them. So wait, you, you, people have their own paperwork work available to them, and 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 people you, ask to see. Yeah, it? you have your oh. booking. You have your booking sheet. When they when you go in there, they give you like a. a it's basically your booking sheet and all your charges on there. And it has your inmate number on there. Um, 
your next, like when you first get in there, has your next court date, when you got booked in, you know, your name, all that, all the demographic information on there. So it, it has all that on there, but it does have your initial charges on there. And then he might have some, you know, they could even go search his bunk. Let me see, you know, let me see what, what you got charged with new. Let me ask you this, because I keep thinking about this. Like when I hear him say he's going to go take a nap, like being going to sleep is the most vulnerable time you have in a day. I mean, everybody, if you fall asleep, people can do whatever they want. Like I would be afraid to go to sleep. So how comfortable did you feel taking a nap or even going to bed at night? Like, did you hear crazy? I, I watch movies. Okay. And I just see crazy things happening when people are asleep that, I mean, did stuff like that happen? So I was in, um, I was in a, a place of, there's two facilities here in Vegas. There's one, there's like, if you ever come to Vegas, there's down the downtown um, Lock, Clark County Detention Center. Okay. And that's where you get booked in. And there, you know, it's generally, um, that's where you would get held at. But then I got transported. They have a, a second facility for nonviolent offenders. And it's mm -hmm. like, most of the time it's people on fraud charges or prostitution charges or like my, my charge, a DUI or um, drug charges, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I was fine. I think the only time I got weirded out was uh, there was a girl who was coming down off of H and she was like, she was, I felt bad for her because they really weren't attending okay. to her. And, and she was, you know, she was defecating on herself like it, it, you know she was coming down and they just really weren't attending to her but it was for n basically non-violent offenders so i i was fine like i wasn't in this open bay like how nesto's is it's open bay now if out where he's at i would feel out if i was a man with his charges mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. especially with he um, said that guy walked by he he's got um you know, CM charges. And I'm thinking to myself, how dare he? First of all, do you really think he said something to that man? Or is he just putting on for signs? No, he, he's, I think that's why he's trying, he, you know, he said it. He, he he's, keeps them guessing about his age and everything. Um, I would be, I would be afraid if I were him. I'm going to be honest with you. With his, with his type of charges, I used to do um, rape crisis counseling and mm -hmm. I learned a lot that there are um, a lot of black men, especially in the types of communities that, you know, I like the kind of community I grew up in, in um, lower socioeconomic, lower, the probability of getting a, you know, a full education, at least going through the 12th grade is much lower. Like Nesto, you probably sometime dropped out in sixth grade or fifth grade. Um, you were molested a lot of the men mm -hmm. and you didn't get reported you were if you told anybody then you as the victim would be considered quote-unquote gay because uh, you didn't stop it even though you may have been seven eight nine or ten so a lot of those guys are in there because of that trauma so you know if they heard his if they really really knew his charges mm -hmm. um he probably would have been messed up by now. But, but if they, that guy that walked by, he he's claiming that guy has CM charges. So do you think that guy, I mean, that guy's walking around like minus. The oh, they're watching him. I mean, for they, they trust me, they're, they're, they're watching him. The, you know, the other guys, if they if it's widely known, then they're watching him and they're just probably waiting on the right time. They, you know, they, or they, he might be getting extorted or something. It doesn't go, it, it just, it, it just, you don't just sit by, like, it may not, it's not as crazy as like, let's say Oz was and, you know, Oz was that, that's a realistic portrait, a painting of that, of what prison is like, but county jail is different. County jail is a little more restrictive, but they trust me, they he's getting extorted in some way or somehow. But as far as Ernest goes, mm -hmm. um, he doesn't have CM charges, uh, but he has something related to, so it exactly. they may not they may not related look at to it. And and against a woman. So, you know. Yeah, he's I uh, that was supposed to supposedly frowned upon as well. 
It is, and he's probably getting taxed um, when it comes to like using these people's pins and everything. He's getting taxed, you know. I, I that would say that's why Sonya is putting so much money on his books that she claims was five hundred dollars a month. Is that what she said? She said two fifty every two weeks. Damn. Which I don't know how she can afford. I mean, maybe I she don't can't understand afford it either. I don't understand it either. She Where's claims. She, Go ahead. Uh, she she said she's retired. From what? I you mean, have to have a career to retire. Or at least she, a job. V, she worked in the strip clubs. She was a manager. They got retirement plan. They got 401k up in the bitch now. I mean, I didn't know it, they did that. I don't know. I mean, a, King, I was. I would think if she said she worked at KOD, right? KOD has been around for at, at least. KOD? I'm, Is that the strip club? King, in King of Diamonds. Oh, King of Diamonds in Miami? Yeah. yeah. Okay. KOD is notorious and famous. I would think that for the office workers, they would have some sort of, you know, package for, you know, HR package or with 401k or something that you can invest in. I mean, she, this is a woman who had, she did actually did have properties that were bequeathed to her, you know, when her father passed. How many though? She keeps saying the 16, 17 properties. Is it all of the siblings own these properties or she owned the properties? According to, from my understanding, and I, I don't, she's hard to follow. So I don't exactly. know her, her full like story. I believe that was her portion of what her, what her father left her. Cause mm -hmm. she doesn't say that her sister, you know, cause it, cause they're gone now. Nobody owns them. I think she lost them in her bankruptcy. So I think so how did she, so that, then they all become, well, they said that she didn't have those prior. I thought, um, I didn't see the live cause I want to say it was members only. And I wasn't a member at the time, but at grown woman vibes, I thought she said there were, when she showed the bankruptcy information, there were no 16 properties or whatever in the bankruptcy. <sighs> Maybe it was the first bankruptcy. I mean, I'm again, I'm not, I'm not quite sure, but she said, I, I do believe that her father left her something because he probably thought, well, this is my stupid child. So she, but you know, properties and it's probably an apartment, apartment complex, it's probably like an apartment building, but that's one property, a prop, a, 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 an apartment building is one property. She's not very articulate. So she, no, she may no. not, you know, and she, and she, I think she just she overly exaggerated things for Ernest because she she scrolled his Instagram and she knew who he was married to and she thought mm -hmm. that the you know Sam Moore was gonna like reel him in, but mm -hmm. to me that you know that I don't I I will let you know, uh, -uh I'm hand to mouth, I let, I make a very comfortable living I can afford you know some nice things for myself but mm -hmm. if I meet a man I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna tell him I'm broke. I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing for you to come over here and take. My, nope, my credit is bad too. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me for nothing. Don't okay. look at me for anything. Uh, so I, th I think she exaggerated. You know, a lot of this stuff we, we're hearing, there are exaggerations of what she, I think her sisters and her family, they, own, they have a lot more. But um, as far as her like retirement goes, I just, I, I think she got some sort of settlement. She got something that she was living off of some high velocity of, amount of income that came through that she was able to travel. And um, she was able to kind of dump a, a large wow. amount of money. Congratulations mm -hmm. on your retirement. Yes, congratulations on your retirement. Look, Shelly C put in here three calls per day, average times six equals. 18 times seven equals 126 times 52 weeks is 6552 per year. So she's invested at a minimum $7,000 in this sticker. Plus you, she's also sending him. Yeah, you're right. She's sending him money for his, uh, she's sending him glasses. She's oh, sending glasses. commissary money. You can, Bible. from, uh, you can order stuff off of Amazon and have it sent directly there, like approved court, you know, a jail approved stuff off of mm -hmm. Amazon and like books and stuff. Mm -hmm. So he's not, he's, he's high maintenance. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. He's not a he's not an inmate that will, you know, learn how to you know take a pack of noodles and learn how to stretch it out over over the whole day, mm-hmm. and still eat the meals that they serve in the jail. Trust me, jail food jail food sucks. I was going to say, talk about that. Look, let me tell you this before you even say anything. <laughs> so, um, uh, there's an agency that I work with, and they have a um, a reentry program, right? So unfortunately for the residents of the reentry program, they are still getting the company that provides the, the, the prison foods, they provide the foods to the halfway houses as well. Sometimes you would smell that food. I was like, I'm, I, I don't know what they were serving, but just the smell, the aroma of the food in and of itself. And it didn't matter what day I went by there. It didn't matter what time of day, that same scent. And I'm saying the days because you would think they would have something different that's being served each day. The food smelled the exact same and it stank like hell. So tell me, what is this food like? I don't know about Cobb County. I mean, what he was describing is totally different from like what we got. Most of the meat was soy. And there were some times like before my commissary account like kicked in because it took a few days for you to be you have access to order commissary because it it only does it once a week um so i had to hold my nose and eat but i just i ate it That's because it, I, I, could, oh, I can only imagine and one of the girls who was like in my my, my little bay area because it was one two three four it was six of us Mm-hmm. And she was, she, we sat at the same table and she like, she told me that I was just sitting there trying to shovel it in my mouth really quick and hold my nose. And she had made me put my fork down. She's like, just stop if it stinks. I'm like, I, I, you know, I need, I needed something. Cause I just felt like, okay, I just need to, I just need to keep going. Cause I'm in my, right. I'm not going to just sit here and let my mind go to waste and let myself waste away. I, right. you know, I need to, I need to eat. And, you know, the girls were very nice to me or the women were very nice to me. They, you know, they shared with me until my commissary kicked in and I made sure I kicked back to them. But that food, it was it was soy patties. Um, I think for breakfast, I don't drink I don't drink uh, dairy milk. They gave us milk. Uh, they at all. So, yeah, oh no, they would give us uh, for for lunch and dinner. It wasn't bologna sandwiches, but they would, you know, they would do. Like sometimes it would be on a schedule, so it was like okay, chicken sandwich, but it was soy. But they called it chicken. It was like a, chi- a fried chicken patty, mm-hmm. it would, and then um, you would get an egg, a sausage patty that was so hard that <laughs> it was it was so hard that you like what they would do. The girls learned a trick is that you wrap it up in toilet paper and. Like go stand when when you were in the shower, you like you steamed it in the shower to make it mm-hmm. soft, mm-hmm. and because we didn't have a microwave, so you learn the girls learn tricks in there. They showed me like, so most of the time, you bought your, when you bought your commissary, you bought seasoning packets to mm-hmm. season the food up because like it was beefaroni. Sometimes it'd be spaghetti. Sometimes it'd be like this what they call sloppy Joe. Like mm-hmm. but with it was just. Kind of like mystery was mystery meat on a plate, and it just it, it some of the times it really did stink. I never found any bugs. I'm gonna say that I never found bugs in my food. Um, people the bread, say that. Yes, yeah, people will say that they they'll find bugs here. Like Vegas is, I oh think Vegas is too much of a high profile city for us to to keep that kind of thing going. But um, places like Cobb County and Fulton County. They're mm-hmm. small enough and not not as high profile enough to where they they can kind of keep that under wraps. But um, Ernest, you in, in commissary, you can make up for that, but you have to stretch it out. So you can buy chicken, you can buy tuna. Um, you can so, buy chicken and tuna in there, like the packets of tuna. Is that the pouches, saying? the pouches? The pouches. Yeah. See, that's what I'd be. I would have. Now, here's the other thing. So if you So I would think so if people know that, A, you have money or access to money for commissary, do you get bullied for that? No, I mean. You don't? Well, keep going. Keep going. I'll answer. Well, then the other thing I was going to say is if you were to buy up a few things out the commissary, 
do you have to worry about it getting stolen from your bunk area? So you do, you do have to worry about things getting stolen. Um, where he's at, he's in an open, open bay. Um, mm -hmm. so it's, it's open. So you can keep an eye on your stuff. Um, mm -hmm. I think what, what it looks like his, his, uh, dormitory is, is mm -hmm. it's open. Uh oh, thank you. Yeah. Sorry about that. Hang on. Can you hear me? Yep. I can hear you now. Okay. So where he's at, it's open bay. Um, hold on so, one second. Your sound, you, did someone call you or something? Yeah. Let me, let me come out and come back in. Okay. All Sounds right. good. Thanks. Um, okay. So in, in the meantime, hey, CCB, thank you so much for the super chat. Nine times out of 10, everyone in his unit has those types of charges or they snitch. I'm sure it's not general population. So I didn't know that they have, a, I thought everybody, okay, I'm confused. This is jail. This ain't prison. So they still split you up based upon your charges? Because I was under the impression that in jail, there's no nest. Well, maybe in certain areas, but my understanding was that there is no, like everybody's in there together, which is why, why jail is more dangerous than prison in many ways. Is that wrong? That's interesting. But thank you, CCV, for the super chat. KK Bonita. Okay, so the bankruptcy that I looked at showed about nine properties in 2008 that she walked away from. Oh. Interesting. Nine properties. It was, and did KK, did they happen to say, or can you tell from the from the bankruptcy whether or not other people own those properties too? See, I'm wondering, let's say me and you own a property together, and I need to file for bankruptcy. And I want to file bankruptcy uh against what I owe on this side of the property, but maybe the maybe you want to keep the property. How's that work? I wonder tax attorneys, any tax attorneys or, or bankruptcy attorneys here. Just wondering. Thank you. KK Bonita for the super chat. And thank you again, CCB. You guys are beautiful. Okay. Come on, come on back Vicky. Cause I got to get out of here, girl. I done spent ooh, two hours and 57 minutes out here with y'all today. Thank you so much for the, oh, we got some gifted memberships. We got super chat. So again, I'm going to thank KK Bonita, CCB, uh, Lovejoy for the memberships. Go Roro for the super chat. Tone Smith for the super chat. GC and Shelly C for the memberships. And GGC or GC again for the uh, super chat. LRG for the super chat. Texas Toy. For the memberships, LG, Sonia, aka Heckle and Jekyll. Thank you for the super sticker. And then also to Miss Buckeye, my homegirl. Okay. Even though she lives in New York, she's still my homegirl. Okay. Okay. And uh, the purple one. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. I got uh, Vicky back here again. Hey, Vicky. Hi. Can you, is it okay? Yep. Yep. Okay. Oh, so um, yeah, I was just where he's at. He, he, the bottom bunk because he looks like he's on the top bunk but if somebody was nice they put him on the they let him say they have the bottom bunk or well, let me ask you this is why is the i mean i understand from a, an access kind of thing but would you rather you would rather okay from a safety perspective it's not safer to be on the top bunk. Like, I don't know. It could be hard no. to snatch you down from there or something yeah that's they can snatch you down I mean, you have a good bird's eye view of kind of like what's going on in the pod, um, but they can snatch you down and you can't always, you know, you can't always see what's happening. Um, it, like as far as what your, what your bunkie is doing and just, he's older oh, too. Right. Like, you know, you, you don't want to, you got to climb oh, up there. They don't have a ladder. You got, <laughs> they have rungs. They have what? They have, so it's, it's just stacked. So you gotta like figure out your own way to climb up there. What? Yeah, those are and they're bolted in, and you know, like that mattress is hard, and then you, the lights never go off, really. Oh, really? Well, that makes they, sense. That they makes just sense. dim. They they dim, and when he said the snowballs, I believe him. What are you talking about? What snowballs? He told her like they blow the, the air conditioner was blowing snowballs. 
because it was oh. so cold. <laughs> and the I, blankets probably ain't shit. The blankets, um, no. And then you know, like if I'm if I'm thinking correctly, they have um the the mattress has a pillow made like kind of made into it. And it's not really a pillow. So you got to kind of, some of the girls, when I saw, they, they, it was, it was considered contraband, but they would take like the maxi pads and stuff them in one of their, either their bras or their shirts mm -hmm. and, or their, or like their jumpsuits and tie it together and make a pillow. Shut up. Why is that and, considered contraband? You can have pads just because they use it for that reason. Th those girls in there were so smart and I was just so I was mad at myself okay and I was already beating myself up for like you know being there, yeah. be be there and getting in trouble and being selfish and you know putting other people in danger but then I, I was looking it. at the other the other girls and I'm like y'all are so smart one girl she took she made rollers and when I say rollers they, like she made rollers out of tissue paper like they look just like the pink rollers you know what? Well, see, now that doesn't surprise me because I'm going to tell you this. When I was a little girl, I never forget this. <laughs> and I guess this is how they used to do it back in the day. But when I was a little girl, well, I mean, I was probably, let's say about 12, 10, 11 or 12. And this was, um, I used to go to Georgia. I mentioned earlier, I used to go to Georgia every summer, but we also used to go for every spring break. So it was Easter and I spent all my Easter's and it was a little country town. So my aunt, who um, was like, okay, well, let me do your hair. Let me, let's roll up your hair for tomorrow. So she ripped up a garbage, uh, uh, like a paper bag and made these little strips, just like those pink rollers that you're talking about. And I even have pictures of me with all these little knots around my head with the little, with the paper bag. And I guess that's how they used to do it back, back, back in the day. Cause I was like, I don't have any rollers. And she was like, oh, we got you. Oh no, I've I've seen that before. When I say rollers, I mean she had you know how sponge rollers are are configured, like they have the sponge and then it goes on the prong and then it clips. Right. right. Her rollers right. look just like that, only made out of toilet paper. What? Yes. I, I swear to God. God forgive me. Yes, but I, I, I swear. Yes, these girls were smart and they just had time in there, like they and but they were they were super duper smart and they i'm like well, what happened you know all the time i'm like well, what happened what, what got you in here because my i know my what my tale was i was abused by my father and i just kind of let my alcoholism get out of control because mm -hmm. i never dealt with it i'm like well so what happened to you like you seem like you were you doing okay it was always a man it was always a man they were doing good until they my baby daddy this and my husband this it's like you know and we, I, but these girls were like so smart. And anytime you can still run the check scam in 2000, this was 2016. So anytime you can still run the check scam in 2016, when checks were kind of pretty much becoming obsolete, obsolete. <laughs> right. you are still kind of like, you have some smarts where you can kind of configure some stuff out. Uh, they were, what they would do also, they, they, they'd have hustles in there. What they would do, one girl, she'd pull the, she'd pull sh strings out of the sheets or the blankets and she would thread eyebrows for commissary. Shut yeah. Shut up. I mean, they were, they, they had the skills and I just, I felt like I, I just, I, if I had a magic wand, I would just try to make their life like, Okay, you're you're super intelligent. And when you talk to them, they just did, you know, they're they're already convicted, so they're like they didn't have a chance. You know, they never they're not going to have a chance. They're already convicted. They're felons now. So most of the girls I was in there with, they're you know they were kind of waiting to be going to serve their sentence. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it, they were just they were really smart. Just some of the stuff they made slippers out of maxi pads. Um, Say what now? They made slippers out of maxi pads, like so. What? Because we oh, slippers clean... out of maxi pads. I'm thinking, yeah, maxi pads out of slippers. Okay, no, slippers no. okay, I got you. Hold so, on, one second. Let me just thank um, um, Jackson Tabasco. Thank you so much. Just because, thank you, thank you for doing that. I appreciate your super chat. Um, you know what? What I will say is this: uh, I mentioned before that one of my old clients, who I consider a friend now, um, I interviewed him 
last year or year before last on my channel. And we had, there was a portion where we talked about his life. And, but then there was another second part to that interview that we talked more about prison life. And when he started naming all the ways and items and things that they could use to make utensils and weapons and like they're so freaking innovative. And 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 someone put in the chat here was I think it said necessity equals creativity. Like people will find a way, won't they? When they yeah. are when they're set with um it was um uh, Maryland girl. Um when people are in a position where they got to figure some shit out, they, they find a way they become MacGyver out this bitch. Okay. And it, it but that lets you know, it's like, okay, they're smart. They they're have smart. ability. And I wish I really, I, I, cause after that, you know, I, of course I, I never got in trouble again after that. I, uh, that, you know, once wasn't enough for, <laughs> for me. I hear you. You ain't gonna tell me. So, I, uh, you know, I, I'm, and I'm, I'm pretty square. I'm gonna be honest with you. I just, I, like I, I told you, you know, I That's had, okay. I had some history. So I, after that, I just really, I racked my brain. I was like, how can I kind of make a difference in this? Cause I, I really, really sat and thought about like, there are just so many people. Well, I don't want to just, you know, marginalize it to women and say, women only, but there's just people who are like smart and like they've been to prison, they've been challenged and they're not, they don't show any violent uh, tendencies who can actually come out and make a difference. And they can use some of the smarts that they all the time that they've used to brainstorm and actually get their ideas and creativity out there. Um, that's why I kind of get confused with, with Ernest, like, dude, you just in there, just read. Just <laughs> but he can't read. That's the thing. Don't y'all understand? He can't read. It was clear to me as clear as day when he came out there showing off his Bible to Sylvia only for her to say, OK, can you turn to this and read this for us? He can't read. Then it was like, oh, my glasses. Why did you bring the Bible if you can't read it? You can't read, sir. And I understand that he knows by this time he knew we were watching. He knew that was going to be a thing. If he came out here and had to read out loud, come on now, we was going to know. It was, a, I think when I saw he couldn't read was when he was, uh, when he was spelling out the, the attorney that he wanted, Shirley. Yeah, to, Overton, the, the way he went with that. He, he called it Owens. Thing. Yep, he sure did. But there are books for, you know, he, he could easily, I mean, just humble yourself and ask people for books for beginner readers. That's the part. He will not openly admit it. He will not. That's why Shirley asked him who was writing that shit that he sent. That book. <laughs> <over there. laughs> where did she learn these words from? That's what she said. That's why she didn't know what the hell was going on. Who is writing this shit for you? Because it can't be you, nigga. I've never I never heard, heard you use a word like that ever, ever in my life. Spell it, nigga. If you said it and wrote it, spell it. Okay, thank you. He couldn't do that. Uh-uh. Shirley has to spell Job in the Bible. <laughs> Shirley had to spell Psalms with a P for him. Yeah, I know. <laughs> really? But wait, you... he knows the word. How does he not know that Psalms is... I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, even if you can't spell, even if that, if you were looking at that somewhere else, but if you know the Bible and you are this minister in your mind, you know the Lord and God's been good to you and you got to get into green waters and, and purify and this, that, and the other. And he needs this Bible and he going to cry when Sylvia prays and all that bullshit. Then you ought to know Psalm start with a P. I mean, it makes no sense to me. That's why I think um, the stuff that he was into that, that dark, I think he was into some dark stuff, some like dark magic stuff and be honest with you. I think um, so too. I think you put some on Sonya because why the hell else would she be sniffing him all the way to the jail and 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 move across state lines? I think he done put something on her and Shirley. I think Shirley then has snapped out of it. Maybe somebody, you know, uh, I don't know. A lot of times you get released all over her body in her in her home, but I don't know. But you get released from from that when it's you know time and space and energy is removed from you. And um, she's not talking to his family either, or his family or his friends either. Good so fair. you, good it's good. You know, she, I'm not saying Shirley's like the best person in the world. I just don't think she deserved any of them, them playing in her face like they did. 
And here's the other thing. She doesn't know who she can trust in that circle because they're all on some bullshit on some level. Can't even trust anybody. Dre, even Dion. I mean, the fact that Dion sat there and had that conversation with her, knowing Nesto was there listening. I mean, you know what? I wouldn't have thought too much of it. Well, first of all, I, I didn't have to know that was going on. If that had happened, like, let's say they were outside the jail and that happened, that's one thing. But the world, no, I mean, he has he had to know by that time we were all going to figure this out. We were going to see it. She might hear about it. Now, now it looks real funky. Like, I would not have called that woman with my daddy on the line. He in the jail. You know it's a recorded call. It's all, and then you're out here playing in that woman's face. I mean, I don't, I'm not saying that Dion didn't care for the woman. I believe he cared for her. And he appreciated her and respected her on some level. But at the same time, he was on bullshit that day when he made that call. I don't care. I wouldn't like it. No, I would. I mean, and for Ernest and Dion, if Shirley had was being sparse about the amount of time that she spent conversing with you, um, I would think that she I would just automatically assume she's working with the prosecution. I would look. Let me tell you something. I think Erica, Shirley, and her daughter. Um, I think a lot of people were. Hell, Sonya had me fucked up for a minute. I started wondering, is she working with the prosecution? Because <laughs> she got him all the way fucked up. Like, she's leading him astray. And now she's got access. But see, here's the thing. The reason why I, I this is going to sound crazy, but I felt like, okay, she's definitely not working with the prosecution. Because the prosecution has the, the rights and the access to get any information, financial information, otherwise, that they need about him without his permission. But she needed it for whatever reason. And I think she's doing that for to, to sort of um, uh, clear her own mind or her own doubts about whether or not this dude is guilty. Because why else? Why? What? What's going on here? Then you got into his social media and you cleared out all of Shirley's pictures. Did he tell her to do that? I, just I don't. Wonder. I don't see him telling her to clear out Shirley. I can see him telling her to clear out some of the, like the pictures of the cars. Mm -hmm. Maybe that. Oh, okay. Really? Why? Um, because evidence it, is evidence. Yeah, like the cars that he's. You know that he that he knows that he flipped the titles on, or you know I could see him, or allegedly, let me say allegedly, uh, that he he allegedly flipped the titles on. I could see him doing that, but as far as Shirley goes, like that that's your credibility. That she's she legitimized you, and it's <laughs> she says song he may be the CIA. Okay, <laughs> she's too stupid. <laughs> She playing us. She pretending she's stupid, y'all. It's not her. Sonia is a uh, she. What? <sighs> okay. I don't think so. Oh, wait, one quick second. Uh, Sarah Burn Burnside. I don't think you're allowed to really. Well, I know when you go to prison, you're not allowed to make money, right? You can't run a company from inside. Somebody else has to take that over and do whatever. But you can't run a. You're not supposed to be able to run a company. I don't think. You can't benefit from the proceeds of your crime. Oh, of your crime, but you can. What if you have a comp? So if you have a business, you can still you can, st you can still operate that. They can't expect your business. You I mean, not operate, but you can still kind of discuss and make decisions about your business, um, as long as it's not commingled in with your crimes mm -hmm. or your or the things that you're suspected of. Mm -hmm. um, I know with the Son of Sam law, mm -hmm. I know that you can't. But you cannot benefit financially. Um, they can jack those proceeds that you know from from your alleged crimes. So, okay. I I I don't know what what their plans are. You know, I don't I don't even want to evoke the other content creator's name or invoke that name because um, it just seems like it's it's something kind of really 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 sketchy going on, and I don't I don't I don't like it. Um, Sonia is. She she enjoyed being in the limelight. It did backfire on her. And I at you know at a at a point I did feel empathy for her, which is why I tried to converse with her. And oh you did? Uh yeah. I went on Sylvia's live 
and uh, when she was on there, like man, a couple weeks ago. Uh huh. And I, you know, tried to talk to her and just wait ask a minute. Her. I I think I remember that. That was. Yeah. She, I think I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, she checked out, and they they played in my face, and it was it's fine. Not I I, I had some. Did you have you dropped off or something? And. This something she, like that happened? She dropped off. You know, she disappeared and then Sylvia went on mute. And then I'm like, oh, okay, they're playing games with me. Cause I think I remember this. Yeah. Yeah. So it's fine. But I, I I had some empathy for her, but really hearing like how they did Shirley with that attorney mm -hmm. um back in last January. Mm -hmm. Like y'all were just y'all were scheming on this lady from the beginning. Ain't ain't no good ain't no good gonna come from this. And the way she Demit, like downplayed the fact that he had that he was being charged with CP. Oh, mm -hmm. it's just a picture. It could be yeah. me. Child, the, I don't understand all this caping, if y'all say. <laughs> I don't understand it. Why is she so convinced that nothing he's done is either real or that important? That is what's crazy to me. But anywho. Um, but girl, I got to get off of here. I got to try to make my way over there to the family's house. Now. Thank you for letting me come up. I hope yeah. y'all, everybody has a good Saturday and a good weekend. Thank you. You better hit my link again, too. Okay? I will. Have a good okay. one. <laughs> you too. Bye-bye. All right, everybody. Thank y'all for kicking it with me. We had a good old three hours and 16 minutes of fun and me talking shit. So um, thank you to everybody who gave, to the moderators who dropped in and were able to help out, and to all of you for clicking and giving me a view and kicking it with me on this Saturday. So, you know, look, if something crazy pops off during the day, I might hit y'all back later tonight. Otherwise, I promise to see you tomorrow. All right. So everybody have a fabulous day, and I'll see you soon. Smooches. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh